a stuttering John Melendez roundtable discussion. <laughs> Welcome to Point Devil Point, a weekly discussion where we get caught up on all the week that was debate outrageous theories and challenge blind people to IQ tests. I'm Carl <laughs> Hamburger. With me this week is Blind Mike Geary, Phil Elmore, Mike Morse, and Vinny Paulino. What's happening, panel? Hello, hey. hello. So good to see all of you guys here. Wow, what an explosive week in all things Stuttering John. Vinny was a big part of it. Blind Mike was a part of it. Of course, Mike Morris and Phil are always a part of it. So we have a much to discuss today, gentlemen. I want to uh, start yes. off. I know there's a lot of talk about the relationship between Vinny Paulino and Stuttering John. Well, I'm not sure how healthy it is. We could, we could talk about that. But I want to start off on a lighter topic, and then we can dive into some of these other things because, you know, Phil had a very interesting video about your relationship with Stuttering John that I, I'd love to talk about. But before we do that, <laughs> while we're while we're still all friends, let's start off and talk about John starts his show up on Saturday. Our last roundtable discussion was Friday, so when he came back on Saturday after his week suspension, we didn't know if he was going to come back or not. He was hinting that he wouldn't. And he went to Jamaica with his girl. Mm. So he comes back. Now, we all knew that the photos from Jamaica were fake. Mm -hmm. It was very obvious. Although, I don't think at first he meant them to be obvious, and then he did. We could discuss that. But he claims he did go to Jamaica, even though everyone pointed out that these weren't real photos. Who does he think he's fooling? Why does he do this? Phil, you look like you have something to say. I'll start with you, sir. Well, this is one of those inexplicable john behaviors because typically what he'll do is he'll create an unconvincing lie he will immediately get caught at that unconvincing lie and then he'll retreat into oh see you you thought i was serious and i wasn't so i got you i win but he yeah. got to that point and then reverted back to the unconvincing lie without any sort of proof to own his haters by saying oh no no i really was in jamaica i was just messing with you all but then usually that would be followed by any normal person with, here's a picture of me in Jamaica with my new haircut and my imaginary girlfriend who, as you can see, is totally real and doesn't live in Canada. You wouldn't know her, but still, she exists. It's known as the Zumak. You say something outrageous, people go, well, that's obviously a lie. And then you go, okay, yeah, I was lying. But the guy did yell Kubia and he did punch me <laughs> and it had nothing to do with catalytic converters. Like, well, hold on a second. I mean, you can't just cover up a lie with another lie that's that blatant. People are going to figure that Why out. Don't, but at, can I say, though, at least with Chad, I understand the reason for the lot. Like, he was trying to be interesting. He was trying to fuck with Anthony. He was saying Anthony's fans are bad people or whatever. What is the benefit of John being in Jamaica? Why, is it just a, like a, a brag that he can afford to go to Jamaica? Like, what's the benefit of the lie? Well, well, I think, yeah, I think he, that he was so butthurt by what had happened. It's like, I don't need you guys. I have a chick. I'm going to Jamaica. I'm rich and famous. You know, that was that was the premise cool. of that. Yeah, right. Oh I'm God. cool. And I was so hurt by that too. I'm just like, I wish I could go to wonderful places for it's a so week warm at a time. there. I'd like nope. to be there. <laughs> nope. Back it, to was, Cape Coral. it was an oddly specific <laughs> brag. Yeah. 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 That's that's what he thought is the coolest thing that could possibly happen. I'm just picking up and going to Jamaica with the girl. Uh then and, he then he then he gets caught and there's two ways of thinking about this. There's the, the way, the way that you would think about John is that he just cannot admit he's ever wrong. And yeah. no matter how much evidence to the contrary is, is shoved in his face or, and this is what I thought too, is he's thinking I'll prank them by obviously they know I'm not there, but I'll keep saying I am there. And that's a prank. Like he doesn't know what comedy, how comedy works really. <laughs> so for him, that was a kind of a, a, a bit. Well, well, he's been doing a kind quick, of extension. Phil, I'll, I'll let you get in on that. The other thing about John that he's not realizing about himself, John's never traveled once without posting photos and complaints of <laughs> airports and <laughs> airlines. Like all of a sudden oh, he has this trip to Jamaica. There's no issues at all for the first time <laughs> yeah, ever. There's a good trip. Man, leave alone. Some imaginary spat with the imaginary airline and <laughs> yeah. an imaginary seat neighbor. And... That would have been more convincing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead, Phil. What were you going to say? Well, can I just, that's almost a terrifying observation that you've studied this man <laughs> enough. <to> know that. <laughs> I just well, thought of that too. <laughs> <laughs> this week he was doing a kind of weird extension 
to this fantasy lifestyle that he's leading because he kept saying every day on his show, I had a great date last night. Yes. A great date mm -hmm. last <laughs> night. Wink, wink. <laughs> so yeah. it's very important to him that you know he has a thriving social life, uh, which is why I think the imaginary girlfriend went to imaginary Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Not that Jamaica is imaginary, but the vista that he visited was imaginary. Uh, otherwise, our our own, all of reality is suspect. But I, th I think it's really important to him. I I think you wounded him deeply when you mentioned that no one wants to be his friend. Mm -hmm. He seized on that when he was playing clips of you, and it hurts him. It hurts him bad yeah. to think about the fact that people don't want to be his friend. So to to uh, compensate for that, he's making up this social life that he does not engage in. Why would someone not want to be? John's friend, Vinny Paulino. <laughs> How would I know? Okay, good, good point. <laughs> no, Phil, this is the thing. I was just clipping John's show from yesterday for my podcast tomorrow. And he gets, he goes, you know, I get up every day at 7 or 7.30 and I, I watch the dues payer. I watch the shit wear on his network. And then he brings up he had a date, implying that his date was still there. He's like looking over to the side like, hey. Mm -hmm. implying that like this chick is still over there right. and it's bizarre to me because this is the second date since he got back from jamaica with this girl so well if you know if he's cheating on his girlfriend he's doing down, a very Carl. bad job of it <laughs> right you can't, what turn on you that was beginning to watch a live stuttering john podcast <laughs> hey, hey baby you want to see the magic happen <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious and she's the only person who could because the, the camera wouldn't be on <laughs> well exactly he started up the show muted for quite some time <laughs> and he was very animated just like oh, no. yeah we're winning you know, just like, it's always fun it's yeah. always a good bit when he does that uh real quick let me just um people are very generous i appreciate that mcdab or five bucks how many silver bullets does it take to do a podcast what say you blind <laughs> mike i think that's for me joke. ideally zero <laughs> yeah any more than that question. and it starts to get rough my, oh, my man went it, right to werewolves Blind Mike had an incident uh, being too drunk to podcast before he yes. like to talk about it. I learned. That's one thing John is uh, far superior at than me is talking into a microphone inebriated. Wow. <laughs> superior, I don't know about that. <laughs> Uncle Jack, five bucks. Vinny, did John make you sleep on the couch? I don't know how you guys could laugh at this. I had to go to the shelter. Oh, no. <laughs> this man is battered over here. Simon, three, four, three, twenty bucks. Blind Mike, how do you know when to stop wiping your butt? <laughs> yeah <laughs> also thanks work? for not killing yourself Vinny spinny yes you thank it. you for not killing yourself uh, Vinny spinny mike you want to you want to address that first question? no I've, i'm done answering it it's, okay. it comes up too often shroom diff nuclear with five euros <laughs> says uncle phil the grift is strong with you plus leave those poor animals alone mm. oh well phil, if, you're getting if some the super chats aren't high enough i will beat all of my animals <laughs> it's true it's all right, so if you love animals, yeah. donate a lot of money. Yeah, it's to me, not thing. to Carl. Yeah. It's got to yeah. come to me, or else right. no. I can't. Unless you want to see comment. Phil abuse some pussy. <laughs> well, uh, then never mind everything I said. McDabbler is a new <laughs> member. Thank you so much, McDabbler. I appreciate that. And Gar Saxon, ten bucks. Vinny looks like a Russian turnip former that the Soviets put in charge if a rocket factory slash women's health clinic of a rocket factory slash yeah. women's health clinic. Also, congrats to Jim Norton on his marriage. We watched I a video. I heard about that. Do we, we live in a video where Jim, Jim Norton is married? Jim and his new wife. We watched it on the Creep Out Bonus shit, show today. It's not a great start, is it? No. She is very upset with him for not enjoying her outfit as much as he should have. Oh, boy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you should uh, check Ooh. out little Jimmy's Insta. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess I kind of do look like a Russian turnip farmer. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to say to that. Hot body thirteen thirty two bucks. How much does John think that trip costs? Oh, who knows? A lot of super chats. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Erica Ann, a member for two months. Thank you. My favorite two or my two favorite mics and Phil. Fantastic. Oh, hey, Carl and Vinny. I see what <laughs> wow. you did there. Yeah, see? I see what you're up to. Clay Dabbler with five pounds. A copyright claim isn't a strike. You don't get a strike for copyright unless you don't take it down. Google it. Phil is the man. Yeah, we can talk about that. Obviously, John had a big incident that happened. I think it's the reason why he's not podcasting today mm -hmm. is that John was all promised off. He had this new strategy. And you were on the show on Monday when he first decided to use a strategy. He's playing 
this music bed, which is 15 minutes of a bad rock song he plays guitar on, on a loop. And it's, or did I say 15 minutes? 15 seconds. Seconds, yeah. 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 And it's really annoying. And you were saying that too while you're on a show. You're like, all I could hear I, was this fucking I could thing. feel Vinny's pain through the screen yeah. <laughs> because it was bad enough listening to that clip, but he was listening to it with his headphones on. Yeah. And I'm just like, that poor man. I was really having a hard time following everything that was going on during that conversation because of the music. I could tell. It was yeah. very, very distracting to concentrate on what was being said to me. Because there's a lot, we've been doing Jacktober this month for Who Are These Podcasts, and there's a lot of radio shows that still have a music bed that plays. But that one doesn't work. No. There's a certain yeah. type of music you can talk yeah. over, and it kind of adds energy and flow. Right. But that thing that John was playing is just distracting. It's too aggressive, yeah. Somebody yeah. inflicted the full version of that song on me earlier this week where John raps and it's it makes it's a thousand times worse. Oh god. Wow. Yeah. It's as bad as you think it is. Okay, here's what I need. I need the special K rap and I need the John rap. I need <laughs> yeah, them together. Yeah, I need them together. Somebody make it happen. My rap oh. name was Master K when I was 10 years old. No, not, I still not special K. Oh. Just so you know. <laughs> My mistake. Everyone. Yeah, right. So, Freudian cool. slip. It actually makes less sense. <laughs> <Master> <laughs> <thing. Yeah. laughs> All right. Fair enough. That's a good point. So what happened was John comes up with this, this scheme. It's diabolical. And again, I saw him bragging about putting a copyright strike already, and he's going to have more coming because anyone who clips his show, he owns that music. And so what does Uncle Rico do yesterday, the Uncle Rico show on the Shuli Network? They decide while John is sniping them to play copyrighted music that they had permission to use that John does not. So now the balls in the Uncle Rico show's court of what they want to do. Mike Morris, do you want to give us an update on what's uh, happening with us? I vote for striking them uh, because you can't keep, teach a dog if you don't, uh, you know, stay firm and follow through with what you're supposed to do. And John already has one strike on his channel. Yeah. So a second strike would be. See, bad. Right. Well, I would see. argue that the whole point of that prank, I'm sorry, Vinny, the whole point of that prank was to teach John a lesson, but John doesn't learn lessons. I don't see right. what is gained. It's true. Well, the, maybe he would learn a lesson if he does get the strike. He's definitely yeah. not going to if he doesn't. Well, can I no ask you this, Mike, though? Like, as far as the Shuli network and everything, like your guys' show, are you ready to just be like, we're not talking about Stuttery John ever again? Because if you nuke his channel it's probably what's going to happen well we're not going to nuke his channel we're just going to have give him a second strike it's up to him to nuke his channel well i right. guess i mean you I, I he he tends to be a blustery character who may yeah. like go away for eight months i guess that's all i'm saying is because i so i'm yeah. i did a show i recorded it for my patreon today but it'll be out on sunday it's the last time i'll ever talk about stuttering john we called it the funeral <laughs> of stuttering john <laughs> I'm I'm ready to be done with him. So I guess I'm just asking, like, are the rest of you? Because I'm 100 percent in. Well, if, as, if as, as for as for me and I and, and we've discussed this off the air with the other guys on our show, is that if he goes, you know, we have other people that we can analyze uh, that nobody really even knows that are almost as interesting as John and have right. plenty of uh, uh, material on them and video on them. And John. John will be back. John will be on other shows. He's not going to stay away. Also, if John goes away, we still got his kids. Right. So, <laughs> well, see more evidence. <laughs> I mean, it's just like stupid. Okay, Mike, <laughs> listen. I understand your point about you're trying to teach someone not mm -hmm. to strike by striking them, but again, what's the fucking point? It's counterproductive to all of everything. Everything revolves around John. We're doing a show that's about I vote, John. I vote not to do it. Yeah, I, of I think course. you made your point. It was a good point that you made. John bragged about striking people with copyright, and then it happens to him. It's just like, whoa, what the fuck? I, it's also kind of a high road move. It almost makes you guys look like, hey, we didn't do that to you. No, this isn't high road at all. I think it's more fun for everybody if John makes content as opposed to not making content. Oh, yeah. However, we want. We, you also can't set the precedent, though, that he can extort everyone by saying, I can do whatever I want to everybody, but you cannot fight back or else I leave. Right. So you got to, there's a line you got to draw. Now, Carl, you would notice you don't have kids, lady. Car okay. But, but if you do that with a child and you say yeah. you're going to get punished and then you go, ah, you know, this time, but next time it, it's going to get twice as worse. You're right. 
The guy's right? 60. You're We've right tried to that. do it. People tried <laughs> but he has lessons been for many years. Eight year old. <laughs> well, and I don't believe he's going to learn any lesson. I think, no, John, no. if he has proven a single thing over and over again, it's that he won't change. There's no feedback that will correct him. I think that's yep. probably true. Uh, and that's why we love him, right? If John well, that's what makes from his mistakes along the way and, and bet, bettering himself and making a better yeah. product, what yeah. fun would that be? Yeah, right. There's never, sure. there's never a very special episode of the Stuttering John Show where he learns a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. hey, ladies and gentlemen, I need to share with you that it's time for me to change my ways. Yeah, we're I'm not going to hang out at that bicycle shop anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you King of all Danvers, two bucks. Who is that discount, Mike Morris? No, it's the real Mike Morris. We got to get today. Yeah, woo! He's, he's really here <laughs> talking to us. Radish Diff with five euros said. Um, Share these cents only with non-SJ friends, please. Sorry, Vinny. By the way, stop paying him, Mike. What the fuck? Yeah. Me? Not me. I, mean? I don't know which Mike that we're yelling yeah. at right now, but I'm ready to join in. Uh, <laughs> Bubble Popper 24, two bucks. Is Vinny frozen? Silent? Vinny? FKB. <laughs> FKB, baby. By hey, the way, Vinny Vinny's going to be in today. big trouble for not jumping in at that comment about his kids. You're going to pay for that later, oh, Vinny. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. He's already got five text messages he hasn't seen. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry. I have to go call my social worker. <laughs> let me let me point this out because, like I said, I was watching John's show from yesterday, and I was also checking out what was going on on Dabblers Anonymous, and I saw that uh, Patrick Melton decided to go off on John's kids. And so, you know, John, of course, has to bring that up on his show. John wants us to go after his kids. It's very obvious to me. He uses them as a shield. It's it's not even a shield. He uses them so he can be a victim. And so if you go after John's kids, he loves it. Because then he's like, see who the bad guy is? It's this guy. <laughs> so he he very much puts his kids in the hospital that Israel wants to bomb and then blames Israel <laughs> when the bomb goes off. Is that uh, maybe uh, that's not a perfect analogy? But you understand what I'm Pretty saying good. here. Yeah. Well, John brings up his kids more than anyone else ever possibly could. He brings them up all the time because he, wa he I said it on my show yesterday. He wants us to take the bait. He's hoping we take the bait and talk about his kids because then he has the power position. He has the moral authority. Okay, right. listen. Well, no, no one knows John's kids. The jokes yeah. that are being made, like if there are any being made about John's kids, are being made essentially at the expense of John because John tells you exactly, don't mention these things about yeah. my children. So he knows what he's doing. People on Reddit mention yeah. those things about his yeah. children, and then he pretends to get all, how could you do this? He's stunned by it. Okay, so, I don't think that he's pretending about that at all. I completely. You think disagree. he's that stupid that he doesn't want people talking about his kids, but he brings I think up all that the time. He sees he, or he hears the word "kids" mm -hmm. and he sees red, and there is no room for nuance. No, but but he's the one who keeps this going. He perpetuates it by bringing up his kids all the time. Don't talk about my kids. He knows he's talking to all these people who hate him and want to get and fuck with them. Yeah. Don't talk about my kids. You can't talk about my kids. Like we're gonna talk about your kids now. So you know, in Twitter. the description of Carl's show that he keeps citing, like, hey, it's fun <laughs> yeah. to make fun of John's kids. How many how many years ago was that at this point? Oh, dude, I've explained years that ago. it was sarcastic. I, I mean, I yeah. don't know what you patiently trying to explain to him how reality works <laughs> was it made me ache because I'm just like, Phil, this is... I don't care. Phil, shut up. Oh, Ooh. um. Here we go. No, I, I really, you know, dude, you came at me like really hard and I don't know you for fucking Adam. You said I was groveling. I was trying to have a civil conversation with music blasting in my fucking ear, dude. And uh, you're kind of a dick. Plus so. his boyfriend was mad at him. Yes, I was, in a, I was in the middle of a fight with my boyfriend and I don't need you interfering, <laughs> sir. All right. Yeah, you took every opportunity to make sure I saw it too, which I thought was extra douchey. Well, that's a good thing you saw it. Otherwise, well, if I'm going to insult you, at least I'm going to do it with my real name. Yeah, thank you. It. I appreciate it, Phil. I don't well, have let's... to make 50 fucking sock puppet accounts to go on Twitter <laughs> to attack people the way your buddy does. So mm. if you want to get nasty, we can do that. Let's do that. All right. What because... do you have to say to me, well, Phil? Tell me what I did wrong in your eyes right, that I got to listen to you. We got out of the way. You don't have to listen to me. Well, I'm sitting here. I would like to hear what you have to say. Tell me what I did wrong in your eyes. I think you got in bed with somebody who's proven to be a person of bad faith. And I think that that's a mistake. So I think it invites criticism because I think John is a person who invites criticism. I think most of the antagonism he engages in 
brings the criticism on him, and then he cries victim about it. And then yep. people in his orbit, yourself included, bow and scrape and try to stay in his good graces, which is nearly impossible because he's an overbearing jerk of a person. Now, maybe I'm an overbearing jerk of a person too, but that's honestly what I think. Okay, that's what you think. Here's what I think. I think that that conversation we had on his show probably probably shouldn't have had it out there like that because I was trying to be very diplomatic. And I said we did end up talking, and he did apologize before I went on his show. I hadn't spoken to him, but he did apologize. So I didn't go on his show super hot and angry to yell about something because he did legitimately send me, hey, I'm sorry about the whole thing. I was really upset. And what I've realized about John is he is a guy who does get angry. I do think he loves his kids a lot. Um, I don't, I think he's his own worst enemy and I've told him that. I think that uh, he gets in his own way in a lot of things. I've also told him to fucking run away from the dabble verse as fast as he fucking can. Don't tell him that. For his own sanity. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Carl, but I have. I mean, yeah, well, I'll see you guys on March 10th, but, you know, apart from that. <laughs> but, like, I'm getting all this shit. Like, people think that I'm, like, personally gaining off of giving this guy a show. I'm not taking anything more than my salary, Phil. I'm not trying to grift anybody. If you're a dabbler, you're not necessarily who the show is for. If you want to go watch it for morbid curiosity and see what happens, go ahead. All I'm trying to do is be fair to a guy who we did a show a fucking year of dunking on him for two fucking days. The least I could do is give the guy an opportunity to make a couple of dollars off of his own fucking name. What a well, dick I'm not I accusing am. you. I'm not accusing you of gaining or grifting. You lie down with dogs, you get fleas, issue. Vinny. Yeah, Dude, I'm talking I'm, about I'm doing personal doing... associations that has nothing to do with money. I don't have my hands in everybody else's wallet. I don't care if you make money. Well, I'm, let me ask I'm you pointing a question, out about Phil. personal associations. Phil, let me ask you a question. And I'm glad that we could have this conversation because here's why I'm really mad at you and why I really don't care what you have to say about a lot of things. Why the fuck are you writing letters to a comedy club to get somebody canceled? Why I did, did you do the... that? I did it on the exact same day that John was gleefully talking about how he got one of the Shuley Network sponsors to drop them. I figured it was time how that John had a little Why? bit Isn't of that just as bad? Yeah. How big of you? Well, if at the time, my thinking was, it's time for John to get a little of his own medicine. I have since decided in watching what happened after that there's no point in trying to teach him a lesson because he doesn't learn lessons. But at the time, I very much wanted him to see what it was like. So you're doing what John does when he's like, well, they, well, they started calling clubs first. It's the same thing Mike just said. It's like, well, he should be taught a lesson. He's never learned. I mean, it's like, you guys, it's a vicious fucking cycle. It's all. Yeah, I don't like that. That sucks. That, that sucks that you're doing that. I didn't know. Like, well, like well how about if, if letters? Yeah, but how about I wrote if, one email? I also ooh, tweeted. Dude, that's publicly. one too many. <laughs> I wasn't trying many, to friend. hide it. I, I, I did it perfectly publicly. I was never trying to hide it. I've hmm. since realized there's no point in doing that. And, you know, well wishes on you for your event. But, okay, if if John can make a million mistakes and gets a million chances every fucking time and yet goes online under his millions of sock puppet accounts to trash everybody. What if Vinny wasn't running that club? Back? What if Vinny wasn't running that club and it was someone else in that one email? You're like, oh, it was only one email. What if that got the gig canceled? Yeah, I, if I'm wrong, were you well, saying that he was that threatening violence thing. against people? Well, He's Phil, threatening violence? He's doing that stuff? Hold on. You were trying to get him the show canceled. Well, dude. hold on. So you're asking what if he got the show canceled? That, that was Phil's intent. Yeah. And Phil's whole thing is it wasn't just the fact that he was trying to get Shuley's sponsors taken away, which is a dick move for, for sure. But he also included in the information, if I'm not mistaken, that John was threatening violence, and he still yes, is to this and, day. Yeah. People should I said John to show the other day. Ah, thanks up to the show. I got Hitman Dan with me. We're yeah. gonna punch everyone out. Yeah, that's yeah. A what is he doing? Who hires it's, people like it's, that? It's listen. <laughs> that's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> well, Vinny, this is where I leave you alone, buddy. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. That's a great question. So, like, I, I read this email, Phil, and I don't know who you are. I've never met you before, but I gotta tell you something, man. When I see Vinny, shit like Phil, that, Phil, Vinny. Yeah, Did I don't I like say that. Anything that, and that was I don't. Number one, hey, can I finish? I don't like that shit. I don't like when anybody does that. I don't That's do it fair. to anybody. And now, hold on, I'm finishing now, Phil. I listen to you. I know when you come after me because I was trying to have a civil conversation with someone who, listen, I don't agree with him on the idea that Carl put his book up. I don't agree with him on a lot of things. And I was trying to civilly have that conversation. It's not your fucking place to come in and tell me that I fucking groveled at this, that, and the other because you didn't like the way I said something to him. Okay, dude? 
That's I'll my remember that the you. next time I see a conversation happening publicly on the internet, that it's not my Good. place to comment. You can on say it. whatever you want to do, but you're sending tweets at me, and you're obviously looking for fucking attention. So you have it now, and I'm telling you my opinion. I don't think on it, it was that many. I think it's been a while since that happened. Saturday. Okay. <laughs> like, have I been tweet storming you all this time? No, like, you haven't. You haven't. But I know what you did. And listen, right? You want attention? I'm giving it to you. I okay. I feel overwhelmed with joy. To have your attention, nice. but I, it's time that everyone acknowledge that these things are happening in public. When people comment on, on them in public, it's all fair game. Okay, Phil, that's fine. You're, I'm not saying you're not allowed to do a show about me. I'm not saying you're not allowed to tweet at me. I'm saying that I found it insanely douchey that you wrote an email. I'm telling you, I find it insanely douchey that you do a whole show ripping on me and then you fucking start tweeting at me about it. I think that's just douchebag. Hey, that's my that opinion. If you watched true. the show, he didn't rip on you the whole episode. Very little. The uh, the title was misleading. I was hoping he was going to go after you a little harder. Okay. <laughs> did, I, did. did I say anything in my email that was untrue? Did I so lie? I have anyone? to go back and look at it. It was well, it was fucking silly, so, Phil. So let me, it was let me fucking make a, childish. Let me make a quick point. I got an idea. Wait, quick, why don't you go guys ahead. have a boxing match? <laughs> <laughs> I want I want Phil Elmore. <laughs> so, I want I don't know who else do I want to fight. Let me let me just point this out. I, we, can, we can do a combination. I'm a neutral party here. I've known Vinny for many years. I've just met Phil. I'm I'm a, I'm a neutral party. So I'm kind of just looking at this from the information that I'm seeing. And in Phil's defense, and I agree with Mike and Mike, you never email clubs. You don't try to get people. Fence it, uh. You don't try to get people canceled. But the, it's weird that we treat John like we would treat a child who doesn't know any better when mm -hmm. he's threatening violence, when he's doing the things that he's doing. Phil was pointing out this is not a guy you want to hire to be at your club representing Rochester or Comedy at the Carlson. He's a bad dude who makes a lot of bad decisions. And yet the rest of us just go, well, that's why we like him. So that, that's I cool. Admit, yeah. Wait, I can I just point out I real quick? Mad. Can I just point out real quick that you said, I've known Vinny for years. I just met Phil. I've got no dog in this fight. I'm neutral. Yeah, what a <laughs> fucking <laughs> asshole you are. And then I defended <laughs> Phil. So that was kind of my point. <laughs> well, I, I will admit, when I wrote that email, I was mad. When I tweeted at them that same day, I was mad. I was sick and tired of John threatening people. Yeah. I decided subsequent to that that there's no point in doing that. And if I could go back in time and take it back, I would. But I can't. So I stand by it. It's that it, is fun, it is funny that John does threaten people quite often. Constantly. And if Brendan Schaub did that shit, holy oh. crap, there'd be oh. a billion posts on he would every have... fucking website about it. All right, big boy. <laughs> I see you over there. Uh, I can make a quick point, not about the email, but uh, I think uh, what uh, Phil was trying to do when he was warning you about lying down with dogs and waking up with fleas, I think he meant that literally. If you get too close to John, you might you might end up having fleas, <laughs> roaches, or something. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Mike. Shannon oh. W. Two bucks. Vinny takes Chinese HGH and weak <laughs> testosterone. Every day. That's how I get this healthy coat. Uh, lawyers, guns, and money, five bucks. Congrats to Blind Mike on his 180 IQ. Certainly smarter and more talented than Sut Joe. Brightest star in the Dabbleverse. Pretty yeah, good. We'll, I'll be counting my 10,000 this weekend. We'll definitely be talking <laughs> about that before this show wraps up. James R. with uh, two bucks. SJ kicked Vinny out. Now he lives in Carl's basement. I ripped the felt off of the pool table and used it as a blanket. <laughs> uh, Red473, five bucks. Has John joined forces with Hamas yet to back at to get back at Shuley? Um, I think KB is closer to that than yeah, John is. Yeah. <laughs> McDabler, five bucks. Oh, boy, what does this say? Gar Saxon doing a great job making Carl sound like the Star Wars nerd that he is. Okay. All right. I do like Star Wars, but I was trying to watch the fucking Mandalorian. I still haven't gotten through the latest season of the How Mandalorian. How the fucking anyone watch the rest oh, of the show? fucking Lizzo. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Justin Yidra, five bucks, says. You're actually trying to, though? Yeah, I was tr I'm trying to. Good to see John's dink out of Vinny's mouth. <laughs> it is good to see that. Penis Wrinkle, 12, five bucks. It seems Vince the lawyer is going to use the threat of the strike to barter a peace treaty amongst the shit wire and the shit player. Do oh, you good. think it's possible? No, I, I was I worried think... Vince the lawyer wouldn't be involved at all. <laughs> I know, no, Vince <laughs> well, can't do anything. John, no just anything. the other day, John was saying he was filing a grievance against Vince the lawyer, I think for doxing Correct. him. Right. Correct. So right? Yes. It puts a wrinkle in their client uh, <laughs> uh, lawyer relationship. <laughs> yeah, it might not work out. Uh, Nelson's TAS and game archive two bucks. Revs. 
Rev S S Hart. Hope you cover Jay's Melton CP accusations. Yes, I have that on my list for sure. Pete D ten bucks. Vinny, it can't be worth it. <laughs> what can't? Having a relationship with John in any <laughs> single fucking way. I'll fill in the blanks for you. <laughs> you know, Carl, can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. I feel like, you know, this is the show where we could discuss this. Like when you guys were getting along and you would talk with them, right? Yeah, I was setting up the showdown between the two of us. That yeah. was the entire point of that. Yeah. It lasted less than a week. Yeah. When you talk to him, though, like he's a normal person a lot of the time. Sure. Like, and he gets angry. Yes. He, he gets very angry. Yeah, he called me very and, angry once. Yes. You know, it's it's one of those things where, like, when you see someone as an, you know, when you talk to someone and it humanizes them in a way that they're not when you just see them on the internet. Okay. And so that's where you fell in love. It's where it's where, <laughs> it's where we first caught each other's eyes. <laughs> well, do you, you think, think the alcohol? What were you say though, what, what's your what, what do you where are you? Well, getting, I'm just saying that like he's a person, and this all of this is insane. We're all crazy. Yeah, I know. I, we're, doing I, a, we're, we're all actually doing a weekly crazy. round table about him. <laughs> this is all insane. <laughs> Given the fact that he has the perspective of dealing with John as a normal human being, I don't begrudge Vinny being angry at the grief he's taken over this. I understand why he's mad. At the same time, understand that for most people, what they're seeing is public John only, and they're reacting to public John only, who makes, who engages in his antagonism in the public sphere. So it's yes, it's a very one-sided view of people, but for most people, they're never going to see that inside view of him, that off-mic John. Uh, Joey C has made comments about that too, that off the mic, John is very kind to him and very compassionate, whereas I've watched them interact this week where John was extremely dismissive of the fact that Joey was going through something personal. It, that yeah. part's not important. What, what I'm saying is I understand Vinny, why you're mad. I get it. I'm just saying that please salt that a little bit with the fact that everybody else is reacting to the, the version, the worst version of John. That, that is what we all get. Dr. Phil, I would like to <laughs> let you know, sir, that uh, when WATP started analyzing John and started coming to John, I've been watching this from day fucking one. I've been sitting here. Sure. I've been hanging out in this fucking basement watching this whole thing. And I never had the opportunity to have a conversation with the human being. And when I did, I went, oh, Jesus Christ. This is very different than what I thought it would be. And I know that John is not a perfect person. I know he knows he's not a perfect person. And I can't defend John for everything that he does the same way I can't defend anybody for why they do what they do. I can't defend you for writing letters to comedy clubs, but I can try to be a human being. And that's all I'm trying to fucking do is be a person. Whoa. Well, I don't, I'm saying that's understandable. I think you're, I am agreeing with you. And maybe you're not used to that. You're not used to me agreeing with you. I'm saying I get it. Uh, now, Vinny, uh, I think Carl said you've had the opposite. You've had good conversations and you've yes. had the angry conversation. Have you, Vinny, have you had the same? Have you had an angry conversation off off air? Uh, more angry text exchanges. <laughs> Ask him that okay. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I don't listen. If John gets mad at me for anything I say here today, that's John's issue because I'm not on here to like trash anybody. I except for Phil. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I just, I've seen you guys that you've done this show and like nobody has talked about any of this stuff. And when it comes down to his show that he's doing in March, yeah. Um, the reality is for the dabble verse, this is all a good thing, right? Sure. Th yeah. This is something that they could all look forward to, to speculate going or not going. We didn't gouge people for tickets. Didn't you just say you don't want dabblers there? earlier and if anybody wants to go that well was? yeah that's i am saying that but i'm saying that like if anybody wants to go they can go but the actual marketing strategy and what the show is going to be about is just to give john an opportunity to try to do something that isn't directly involved in the dabble verse and i don't know why that's such like a, well, a, a sin hold on time out i disagree with that <laughs> statement cardiff <laughs> yeah. electric is hosting this thing yeah, I know. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the dabble verse where do you think cardiff came from <laughs> Yeah. He, he is the house spot of the potato. cable. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm talking out of both sides. I'll shut the fuck up. No. Well, that, Sorry, yeah, John because, no, you're not wrong. You're not Sorry, wrong. Sorry, is where you get tickets. I'm not. I listen, think it should be more. Listen, if you're a dabbler, go to WATP in Tampa. Yes, I agree. Go to WATP in Tampa. Go to subreddit Surfy Live if you would like. But if you don't give a fuck about John and you hate John, then whatever. Who fucking cares. 
Mike, just, I don't know working. if this is a good sales strategy for the show. You want dabblers there. <laughs> yeah. Who's well, going to go that? Like, I don't know no, if I do, Mike. No, it, I, I, get, it, I get what you're saying, but my thing is, shouldn't it be more? Because I think for the most, I think 99% of people that listen to Carl's show are like good people that like goofing on John. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't yeah. the goal be more to like have John accept kind of that's what his audience is? Because if you get rid of dabblers, quote unquote, there's not going to be anyone there. It's going to be Cardiff <laughs> asking some very lonely well, questions. The other side of that is it's very, very likely he's going to be standing in front of a largely hostile audience. If mm -hmm. the like, I don't know what John's outside dabblers draw is. I don't know how many people go, oh, Stutter and John, I'm going to go to that. So the people in this universe are very aware of the event. Mm -hmm. Is it? Are we looking at a situation where he gets up on stage and people are just overwhelmingly hostile and he's got a a, a crowd that's not very giving to him? Sure. And I don't well, see we him reacting well to that. But... I don't. <laughs> that could happen. I don't. Well, know what's I happen, I would man. doubt. I would doubt they would be hostile, but I think they will be very uh, mocking and uh, uh, energetically busting his balls. You know, well, not in a nasty way, but yeah. It, right. Well, but we all know how John reacts to that. Yeah. Like. You were there, and Vinny, you were there for DabbleCon and for the Dabby Awards, mm -hmm. and just the amount of joy in the room yeah. as soon as we showed the screen and John going, ah, and people just busting out laughing. I just see this happening where John gets up on stage, and as soon as he stumbles mm -hmm. or just, ah, standing ovations right, all around. Right. I think it's going to be a celebration of all things stuttering, John. If John doesn't walk out and open with Skull, he's yes! out of his mind. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> if, if he's not shit-faced on stage at 7.30 oh, or whatever he, time this show he starts. He will. He will be. <laughs> yeah, you think? So, <laughs> you know, I just want this guy to have one opportunity. And, and, I mean, if it's people from the Dabbleverse come great, but I just wanted to explain that, like, that's not just what this is all about. I'm The guy just is going to do a show. That's it. It's not that big of a deal. I won't be there. Phil, will you be there? I have gone back and forth in my mind uh, because fire bombing well, the club. <laughs> Vinny probably, <laughs> Vinny probably feels differently. But I actually don't hate John, and I've been debating like, do I want to go for the spectacle? Is it likely to provoke anything if I show my face there? Is it going to be? A I go back and forth. The other, the you know what the thing is, it really gives me pause. I don't know if I want to commit to driving to Rochester in March because you don't know what the weather's going to be. Oh, it's beautiful. Stop, I was there last year. It's, it's lovely. Thirty miles yeah. down the street, Phil. I don't, stop it. It's well, it's it's you know, got to get a couple of exits down the thruway and and it could either be fine or it could be a snowstorm. That's how it is in Phil, March around here. Phil, you're welcome to come to the show if you want to. I I don't care. Also, I don't know what you drive, but I'm sure it's a pretty heavy vehicle when you're in it, so I don't think you're going to be <laughs> But you're going to have to buy you're going to have to buy a mini grooves, yeah. like wagon ruts everywhere I go. <laughs> They put air in his cheeks, five bucks, making Vinny listen to that song while talking to John was equivalent to spousal <laughs> abuse. I won't disagree on that. Do that they actually awful. make gimp suits in your size, Vinny? <laughs> I think they make them up to size Phil. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm purple. not sure you're on. That's a very thin branch you're out on, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> purple monkey dishwasher. Not a few and I are out there, buddy. <laughs> Wait, is Vinny still Team John? Purple wants to know if you're still Team John. I don't know what that means. Dennis Michaels, five bucks. Ever notice <laughs> how many of John's outbursts and lies come directly after his ex post on social media pictures of the kids enjoying life? He hates them. I don't know if he hates them, but I have a feeling that he's a little bit upset with what's going on with the family that has definitely not made him part of their lives. Mm -hmm. Pete D, five bucks. You guys don't need to strike him. If you're done with him, just ignore him. There well, you go. That is true. I mean, yeah. if we want John to go away, that would be pretty easy to do. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Join me, the funeral of Stuttering John, Sunday, 10 a.m., Blind Mike Project. <laughs> well, Mike, we have almost 1,200 people here watching this live, and I think that your marketing strategy is a poor one, sir. But <laughs> you do you, all right? Well, what are, you, what are you talking about? We're talking about Stuttering John. It's just for the last time. See, the last time we talked. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, uh, this is episode three. Yeah, this Joe is the Ava. next to last time. <laughs> Joe Ava, one, two, three, two bucks. <laughs> Why is the John apologist here? Well, I because it's point devil point. That's why people were complaining. Yeah. We're all on the same page. I'm like, let's get video over here and see what the deal is. Right. Full disclosure, I was here earlier for the creep off, and I'm just still too winded to go back up those stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, pretty deep down here in the basement. Broccoli, ten bucks. Will Vinny address the fact that Mike Morris is banned from comedy at the Carlson <laughs> after his DabbleCon stand up set? 
We saw the clip of Carl admitting it. Oh yeah, he's Isn't definitely true? banned. Yeah, man, the guy bombed so hard he created refugees. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Mike. I know. I'm just fucking with you, buddy. Uh, I I love you. Man. Oh. <laughs> and don't say hello to me when you see me at Dabblecon. Walk well, past listen, me like not, a sociopath. No, buddy. listen. Oh, you know, uh, fighting everyone. All right, all right. Now listen. I I think even Carl will agree with me. You were in Terminator mode uh, on at that show because there was there was some problems with sound before the show, and and you were banging back and forth and you just you just had that eye of the tiger that that oh. vietnam stare that you were like back so i didn't want to get in your way i, I was in the shit okay. i've been i've been in around you know mu musicians here's and, what i think happened i think you didn't see me because you walked past me and i go hey mike how are you and you kept walking oh, i'm sorry i i, well, I he's might've... one of the celebrities at this thing oh, listen, I, have yeah. time. <laughs> what, listen, I don't you, care we're fine buddy you, i'm just did you your did you pay for the meet and greet uh, <laughs> yeah right. Uh, tickets, please. I got paid. I never got a poster, right? by the way. <laughs> so, but I do apologize. I did. I honestly did not hear you if you did say that. And, like, uh, I don't care, buddy. It's but, fine. Uh, so with ball. that, with that shirt, I would have seen you if I was looking. Yeah, if you I, see me at the comedy yeah. club, just turn around and walk <laughs> away. And walk away. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do. Probably cry, but I don't know. Uh, Dan uh, Radke, twenty bucks. This is the McLaughlin group for the dabble. It sure as fuck <laughs> <Yeah>. is. <laughs> this is a serious debate that we're having. Our Chester two bucks VP in mother Russia. <laughs> you must pay ruble to dabble. What a country. <laughs> uh, lawyers, guns and money with two bucks. Huh. I hope John's kids are having a nice day. Me too. I bet they are. Nelson's TS and game archive. Rev SS votes strike the cocksucker. Harumph, harumph. <laughs> The, oh, yeah. the level of email subject lines with Viagra with a silent Q and a number one in them that people have to go through to get some of the swear words into the super chats is laudable. Yeah, it's fun, right? What a fun internet we've created with uh, three companies controlling all of it. Uh, mm -hmm. IQano with two bucks. MLC is sniping you, FKB, FVP. Uh, I agree with half of that. I agree with most of that. <laughs> I am the worst, though, so maybe I do agree with the whole thing. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that we're giving uh, Kevin something to talk about. Yeah, if, if I say Vinny's not the worst, is he obligated to disagree with me? Hmm. <laughs> See, he locked up. He didn't know what to do. No, mm -hmm. you just want attention so badly. Calm down. Mojo Bumpo. If I was bucks. mining attention, I wouldn't be going after you, Vinny. You Ooh. are though. You're obs Ooh. you're obsessed. <laughs> wow. so, so, says mush. Wow, hot take right there. Uh Mojo Buffalo 10 bucks. Vinny, please don't get mad at me, but and you know I think you're great, but and just please remember, I'll love you forever and always. Mm -hmm. Do you think you have a higher IQ than John? Higher than Carl? Well, hold on, let's leave that last part off. Do yeah. you think you have a higher IQ than John? I can answer Vinny that. Yes, he know. does. <laughs> what do you think, Betty? Oh, I don't know. Are you know, a 160 man. or higher? I took an IQ <laughs> test, but here's the thing. IQ tests are all bullshit, and I don't know the answers, but I took one, and mine was in high school, like 118 or something stupid that sounds like right. that. That sounds about right. <laughs> but that was in, like, high school, so I don't fucking know. Probably not. I'm That's, really... IQ doesn't change. Oh, okay. According to John, it does. <laughs> well, right, yeah. John's IQ is getting higher somehow, yeah. but... <laughs> yeah, I put no stock in it, but, yeah, it was a 118 in, like, 2000, or 1998. You guys that were talking helps. about it on the BS show this morning, so I looked it up because John, first he claimed he's 165, then he changed it to 160 to make it more realistic. So I looked right. it up, I go, what was yeah. Einstein's IQ? And he never took an IQ test, but based on all of the information that's available, people think he was probably a 160. So John, right. listen, tracks. If, if John is the same as Einstein, he's a little behind on inventions. He should probably <laughs> start coming up with some theories yeah. and Look, equations man. and shit. Some geniuses are idea men, Carl. Some geniuses are more practical applicators. Sure. <laughs> that, that's what I didn't understand is like while challenging me to an IQ test, he'd be like, how can you even super chat? I don't know how to do that. I, I honestly think you're not going low enough. I think that was just a blind joke. I, oh, I think don't. he was just making sight jokes. Wop, no, no, I understand that, but I'm saying he didn't know how to do it. John, John was saying himself he didn't know how to do shit. Yeah. Bob's fake pool, two bucks. Kevin Brennan, pay Bob Levy the 6500 owed to him. I think that ship has sailed. Kevin Kevin mm. Brennan, just pay John that extra 50. <laughs> Radish diff, five euros. You said you have the jingles. Play it, FSJ, FKB, but my jingle first, please. Oh, Radish diff. I do have a jingle for you, buddy. Thank you so much for your support 
over the years. What what was Radish Diff? Didn't Radish Diff give his jingle to uh, William Loney, Lonely Esquire? Here comes the money. Here we go. Thanks for the super chat, William Loney Esquire. He knows Blind Mike could be John on an IQ test even with his eyes closed. <laughs> All right, now back, back to the show, everybody. <laughs> That's from WATS. Things are silly over there. Nelson TS and Game Archive, two bucks. Phil doesn't belong in the devil verse. Out Baldy. Ouch. Oof. Ouch. I mean, I thought we were I about picked the perfect time to start doing a nightly show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a show on tonight, right? 8 p.m. Eastern? 8 o'clock, yeah. On uh, the Phil Elmore. Ch- which channel is it? Uh, surviving it's uh, the Surviving the News. Lawyers, Guns, and Money, two bucks. Heavyweight championship fights. <laughs> That's right. The boxing <laughs> match between yeah. Phil and. Vinny, can we get that? It's like those old, those old Toho Godzilla movies where the two guys are just lumbering at each other in their big costumes. I believe so if it was what? a wrestling match, there'd be a lot of forearms in this one. <laughs> there'd be a lot of forearm, forearm. So, what do you think would happen if one of us, because he asked so many of us, uh, challenged so many of us, actually accepted a, a, a boxing match with John? He would have made us do all the work, like he's doing with the IQ test. Yeah, but it, no, I think he would have really worked hard on it, Mike. <laughs> I think he would have little put, r- rolled up his sleeves and put in some work. Yeah, I'll start making some phone calls then in the morning. Weeks of training camp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Raw eggs every morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I almost think he's not serious about that, Mike, especially when he wanted to fight all of Uncle Rico one at a time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll talk about that and in the same breath talk about arguing with CVS over his stroke medications. <laughs> it, it, it's just not a good idea. I retarded. Two bucks. You don't treat people like sausage. Hmm. You don't? I'll remember that for next yeah. time, I suppose. Good advice. I know people that he's hanging out advice. with. Um, hold on a second. I'm sorry. We got. I just want to get caught up here. Nelson TS again. Archive two bucks. Phil is a hack trying to infiltrate for SC revenue. Well, I'll ab- address that real quick. Phil, like many other people, did a uh, an episode or two about stuttering John, and it caught a lot of our uh, attention because he did such a good job with it. So mm-hmm. anyone's welcome to weigh in on stuttering john if you do a great job and people notice then you earned it uh ricky bev five bucks why did you sting oh, me oh here we go why did you sting me cried Vinny. now we'll both die because i am john laughed the stutter school <laughs> yeah that's the old that is uh, the old proverb yes sir <laughs> yes, it is. i don't think Vinny's gonna be like guys you can't you're not gonna be able to believe this but john and i aren't friends like i don't think Vinny will be stunned by it if the relationship goes badly or am i wrong Listen, I, I... <laughs> good question. Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah. Carl, serious question. Do you think there'll be a fallout between Vinny and John before yes. March? <laughs> oh, before March 10th. Before March 10th. I hope not. I'm I hope not either. You. But but I'm just going out. by past history. Listen. Yeah. I, well, I don't know if, if Vinny's even allowed to be my friend. Maybe we should right. have a falling out today and that will help yeah. things. Well, John would we prefer could be that you not to. But yeah. hey, if, by if the, the way, two of them I, fall out before then, it won't be Vinny that does it. It'll be John. Well, of course. You know I just want to say this right now, Carl, and I want to go on record as saying I didn't want to be here. You told me this was going to be the best friends podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my and god, we'll all get to together. This. We'll sing it songs. Still can be. <laughs> Mason in Portland became a member. Thank you, Mason in Portland. Carl, drop the dead weight. We'll be best buds. <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> james boyd two bucks Vinny's estrogen is flowing today eh yes i'm the moon is hey, in... can i defend Vinny for a second like people are saying he's no. kissing john's ass on <laughs> monday or whatever yeah i thought Vinny came in like had his gripes or whatever here's the problem that i see with some people is like you can't hate john enough where it's yeah. like if you ever even if you say like yeah, you know, on Stern, he was funny or whatever. People get mad if you ever even compliment John. Like, that's where it gets crazy for me sometimes. Like, and I don't I think Vinny was Mike way over the top. That, and that's the thing. That... I'm sorry. I just want to get this point. This is kind of what one of my issues with what Phil was saying was, like, what, what am I supposed to do to have a conversation with someone? I have to be verbally abusing them to get my point across. Like, you guys are all like, why was he letting him talk to him that way? Because he's mad, and I, I have a thick skin, and I don't give a shit. I talk to people who scream all the time. Have you ever had a conversation with Carl? All Carl does is yell at me, you fat idiot! With a smile on my face. Now, yeah. there's other people who you work with who are very different. They don't that. smile as much they as they yell at me. But, like, I, this shit doesn't bother me. That's what I don't understand, why everybody gets so fucking worked up. You see 
seem upset. I'll be honest with you. I I'm, I'm, honest you. I'm I think, all sore now. I think the issue is that most people don't have Vinny's patience for this. And so where a lot of us I would don't. have said, you know what, John, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Vinny just kept right on doing what he was doing and things worked out. And so for a lot of people who don't have as much patience, it looks like groveling. It looks like trying to stay in his good graces. But Vinny explaining himself, and actually it's quite nice to see him standing up for himself in this venue. Like, Thanks, Phil. I, I get it. Yeah, I mean, trust me, if I gave DG the invite back when him and John were buddies, he would not have come on this for sure. John I don't know. Semple. Off the leash, DG has gotten very saucy. Has he? I haven't mm, seen him. Sorry, right? I don't care. Uh, John Semple comes in with Phil sucks, Vinny Winnie people's champ. And I'm not even sure if that's two thoughts or one horrible thought. I don't know if I can agree <laughs> with all of that. Pete D five bucks. <laughs> Phil, please go back to where you came from. Sending that letter was lame. Go beg for money elsewhere. Yeah, that was well, tough. Worked here. That was I didn't I didn't know that before. I, I didn't know that was like out there that he sent some letter to the oh, comedy club. That's why Phil, that's why I will not respond to your shit. Like that's why I have no time for this. Because like the second you did that, dude, you're not a serious person to me. You got fucking okay. you got mad because someone was having a show and you were moved to action that you had to go write a letter to go gripe your complaint with it. Fucking dude. Clearly no one's ever a written a letter. Phil. Anybody who writes a letter to try to get a comedy show closed really needs hey, to Hey, Phil, so what if, what if Carl invites you, just hypothetically, Carl invites you to a live show, and now to teach you a lesson, someone else writes that comedy club a letter to try and get the gig canceled. Is that right? Because it's a dose of your own medicine. It, it's perfectly fair. If it works, then that club really? is you think that's fair? A, it's you think that's fair like a good thing to be doing? No, I don't think it's good. I think I deserve it. I mean, what do you want me to say? That no, no, there's one rule for me and one rule for the rest of you peasants. Well, I think that's the point I'm making is that it's a shitty thing to do to anyone. Well, I, I was mad. Well, people yeah, do and, stuff. And I, I hate John does taking... shit all the time, and we're supposed to just let it slide. Right. I, and I, and I, I, I keep saying this. Who's letting it slide? Much... We've been shitting on the guy for three years. <laughs> Who's letting it slide? It's a fucking <laughs> well, round table discussion. The, the people on the who are constantly <laughs> what are you talking saying, about? The, the people who are constantly saying you should you must never ever take action against John, even as he is constantly saying working that? to deplatform everybody. Well, you guys are saying that right now. So in, in No, Phil's I'm saying defense, don't get his gigs canceled. Right, but that's what Phil's saying. Phil is actively trying to get the sponsors taken off the Shuli Network, taking money out of Mike's pocket and mm -hmm. everyone else over there. So Phil is saying, here's a dose of your own fucking medicine, asshole. And I understand where he's coming from. Now, I never well, recommend you rewrite letters and get people canceled. It's also like, I wouldn't do it again. But John like, deserves it. No point. He, oh, glad you learned your lesson. <laughs> well, do you want me to just keep doing it then? What What would please Yeah, you I love to read your letters What are you looking day. for? Please send them directly to my like, desk. You're just Comedy mad to be mad now. Of any. No, but do, I'm not like, mad to be mad, Phil. I'm just, I, I don't think well, that clearly, you understand. Nothing I can say that, is going to mollify you. So well, that doesn't mean that I'm mad. It just means that I'm not taking you seriously. But you understand, That's though, where, where he's coming from. John goes around trying to get people, people's sponsors taken away and then cries foul when someone says, you probably shouldn't have this guy at his club, he's, he's threatening violence and he's an asshole. And then you're just like, well, how can you do that to this guy? John deserves that. Well, listen, here's why I say that. Because Phil is here trying to actively be a part of whatever the fuck this is. Sure. Phil's actively trying to be a part of it. And one of our <laughs> My tenets, livelihood, but go ahead. <laughs> we saying. all want to be a part of Carl's livelihood. Let's all <laughs> no, just sign up I'm just behind saying. Carl on just, our way to the magical money this? tree with Carl. Let's not dismiss this whole thing. I a quick business that I ran for this. So if you don't mind, fair enough. I will give you <laughs> listen man. as you were. <laughs> <laughs> All, what I'm trying to say, Phil is I am saucy about that because like, we all actively were mad when P we thought people were sending letters to comedy clubs that John was working. Carl right. came on here and said, don't do this. Correct. We all fucking preached against doing this. And there you are doing it and then acting like you're just part of this above the fray motherfucker. When you're At the one no time emails. did I say I was above it ever. I that's publicly true. stated it on Twitter. All right. Well, I, I don't watch your stuff. It. I don't watch your stuff enough to know that. So if and I'm I don't wrong, care if I you do. I'm saying, I'm saying don't accuse me of being above it all. Okay, I never said enough. I was. Okay. Fair enough. So this, here's my takeaway from this. Phil, if you want Vinny to watch more of your stuff, you got to keep including him in the title of your videos. I didn't even watch the first one. <laughs> all the way. Want him I watched like too upset. <laughs> BR Wagor at five bucks. F Vinny Paulino. Vinny was taking out his frustration on Phil. 
John can do whatever he wants and it's fine. Take that energy to John in public. People want you to confront your boyfriend in public now. Like that's none of our I business. I don't have a real reason to confront John though. Like I said what I had to say. He apologized. I had texted with him, told him what I was mad about. He said he was sorry. And then I went on a show and had a conversation with him yeah, I know. about I'm it. I'm just reading a super and chat, I, Nothing I could do is right <laughs> here. Don't take this, Phil. Vitty sucks. <laughs> John <laughs> Spittle, how dare John you? John Spittle, don't take this, Phil. Vitty yeah. sucks. <laughs> Spelled correctly, which I always appreciate. Oh, the, God damn it. The Tom Gully yeah. Show. You rock, Vinny. Hashtag Team Vinny. No, nobody watched so, the Tom Gully Show. Somebody asked me the other day <laughs> if that's really Tom Gully. Do, do we think that's really him? Does he still, is he still around? Is, who's Tom Gully? Who's Tom know. Gully? I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, then, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just passing on the question. <laughs> Is Vinny, that really at, Tom Gully? I don't know. Look at the support you're getting right now. Ray Ping Yu says, wow. I am Team Vinny, people's champ. Listen, that's I'm big. Giving, you want Ray Ping Yu in your corner. Ray yeah. Ping Yu is a big deal for Give you. Give yeah. the people what they want, and they yeah. clearly want more John. Jimmy I with five Canadian dollars says, a young fat Ville and Melton look alike. It doesn't look good for old fat Melton. VTL <laughs> is right about Philly. It so doesn't, much going doesn't look good. What yeah. is VTL? Is that my new nickname? No, it's Vince Vinny the Lawyer. Vinny the lawyer. Oh, Vinny the Lawyer. Okay. Yeah. I thought it stood for Vinny the Loser. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Can I ask Vinny, though? Because uh, I'm curious, and I don't think this is the case, but like, say you were on for an entire show with John. Would you pretend that you don't understand what people in the chat are saying about like the criticisms that people have about him? Would you pretend you don't get it now? Because like you've been critical of John in the past, so I think yeah. that's where people are like, "What are you doing?" You know. Well, listen. I, one of the things the first time I've ever talked to John, I said to him, "Listen, man, you had me on your show, dude. You didn't know who I was." Because here's what happened: I got invited on John's show by Cardiff because Carl called my wife a bitch. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Carl was on the creep off and he was all pissed off because he didn't know how the Wi Fi worked and he thought he was being funny. And Vinny's he was wife is the sweetest person I've ever met in my, in my life. Uh, no, give these backsies, Carl. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. At least fucking Phil's standing by his letter. Here you are backtracking, Carl. <laughs> I think you know I was joking. Yes, I knew you were joking, yeah. but I got to be honest with you. At the time, you were screaming about something that was not broken. That was not a problem other than your keyboard. Oh, yeah. I was and screaming. You were, you were very frustrated. And then you yeah. start going, your wife is a bitch. Your wife is a bitch. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like. The creep off, everybody. The creep off .com. And, and I, and for a minute, I did get hot for a minute. Did I was really? Going, yes. Because I went, what the fuck is this about? Well, I appreciate when John brought that up. You go, I called Carol's mom a cunt on stage. Yeah. The thing you didn't bring up was that my mom was in the audience. You were talking to her directly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, that was... and, and she's a bit of a cunt, I hear. So. <laughs> whoa, whoa, fuck. <laughs> what are you upset Not about? Cool. You tell a guy to deliver case. a message, Carl, and now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> so hold on. Yeah. And, and I'm just saying, like, for a second, like, there was a look on my face, like, what the fuck? And Cardiff showed that video to John. Yeah, yeah. And so John was like, what the fuck is this? And I went on John's show, and I was invited on as a guest. And I didn't do anything to troll him. I sat there, and I was a good guest. Boo! <laughs> and I just was like, this is the most surreal experience of my life. Yeah. And we laughed a little. We had a fine time, and I left. And then I got a message that he was star upset with me. You're a little starstruck. Well, it's wild because we've been doing three years of watching this guy, and I've yeah. never had the opportunity to have any type of interaction with him other than what I'd seen. Sure. So for me, it was just like, okay. And then he sent me a message like, people are saying you trolled me. And <laughs> the fact was, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. And I was like, well, why would somebody write that I did that? It was the first time ever someone lied to John right. on the internet. Well, I just thought to myself, <laughs> that's kind of shitty. And I was like, no, John, I didn't fuck with you. And I, and it was just like, okay, you were, you were nice and everything was fine. And I said to him, listen, dude, I have fucked with you. I'm not going to be lie to you and say that I've never made a joke at your expense. I have mocked you quite mercilessly, sir. Mm -hmm. I have done these things. And you and I are having a conversation. You're giving me no reason to yell at you. I'm not going to give you any reason to yell at me. And uh, we parted as, like, boyfriend fine. and boyfriend. Boyfriend and boyfriend. <laughs> right. I, I, he left me this note that said, do you like like me? And I said, yeah. I checked yes, and I sent it back to him, and it was oh. cute. And then we played footsie at lunch. <laughs> yeah. No, but then I and thought it would be really funny cute. because you guys were, at the time, kind of friendly still. And I was like, oh, it's 
Well, actually, things were just starting to fall apart with you two, I think, if my timeline starts to correct. What are you talking correct. about? I was so you, friendly you, with Sarah <laughs> John. You're making up something that never you happened. Had, it was right <laughs> around the time that you were going to do the shows with him. Yeah, where I yell at him and tell him he's a fucking asshole yes, to his face. but you were very nice to him leading up to it to get him to do that. It was correct. during that time. Right. So, Vinny. What does that tell you? Was I friends with Stuttering John? Carl? I was friendly with him in order to get him on my show so I could tell him he's an asshole. I don't need to know your fucking intentions. You can't pretend I know what you were thinking. So what I'm saying is, Carl, I didn't have any reason to, and I thought it'd be really funny to give him the cow bikini picture. So I did. (sighs) Because I thought that would be the funniest fucking thing in the world. And we all suffered for it. (laughs) (laughs) I laugh every time. Uh, Every time. And so... That's where we just were like, cool, and everything has been fine. Like, so you're you're the fine. rebound, Vinny. I must be. Yeah, mm, that's a good point. You're right, yeah. Mike. I have no reason to fight him. with the guy. I heard him, yeah. and now he's trying to get back at me with Vinny. Yeah. You're his Gina like, Levy. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I think you're onto something. <laughs> I am Mike. no Gina Levy, sir. <laughs> Do not besmirch Gina Levy. How Here dare comes you. the money. Here we go. Thanks for the super chat. There's David Chandler, Gandhi, Jesus, and Abraham Lincoln. David fits right in with this group. David Chandler, $50. There's a reason, Carl. John is a child. An old and broken child who reacts to everything the same way a child would. Mm-hmm. That is very true. We've seen that time and time again. The Pernt two bucks. So Vinny is just like John. It's making <laughs> sense now. Yes, I'm exactly like John. Hey, it's our buddy uh, ASC Riley. ASC presents 50 bucks. Cancel culture is bad. Okay. Young <laughs> Clippa. That might also be um, our girl, Mint Salad. Hi, Mint. Ah. Hmm. McDabbler, $5. A super chat in memory of that one time Mike Morris made everyone <laughs> laugh. <sighs> oh, did yeah. I miss that? Yeah. You must have. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, we need, we need a harp effect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's go back in time. Ronnie Munn Jr., a.k.a. Erection. KB is sniping you. You know, that doesn't change oh, no. how I would run this show in any way. No. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Scatter. <laughs> <laughs> I need producer Joe to come in here and move the camera around. Uh, I, I, I'm going to guess. Can I can I guess for the people watching with Kevin Brennan? Is yeah, Kevin yeah. angry about what's happening? Yeah. Does he? Oh, it, does, it, does he not think this is going well? Is he not? Would he not do the same Hold thing that second. Carl's doing right now? Am I, I talking put, too much? <laughs> I'd put money on it right now. We're all idiots. <laughs> hey, Carl, if you, if you need a seven, uh, a Kevin second song, I can help you out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard a clip of Brennan's show the other day. Kevin. Was, the other day he was speaking completely calmly. Just uh, Kevin Brennan. Really? Did John do that? Oh, wow. And I was like, what's wrong with him? Well, I can almost guarantee Kevin's goo. If he was sniping us, he's goofing on us for, oh, let me guys are doing a show about stuttering John. Oh, right. wow. What are we talking about John again? Meanwhile, John was at his show this week. So right, right. he's also in the Stuttering John business. For $100. Yes, for 100 bucks. King of all dicks, two bucks. Vinny, though, are not. Vinny, That's thou not. are not defendeth <laughs> John enough. I'm so sorry, John. I'll try to do better, John. I'm so, so sorry. I think that John, no, I'll no, do no. better, I John. Think, I think John, I'll do better, John. I think that's uh, I think it's from Hamlet. I don't think that was about you. Oh, okay. James <laughs> Quinn, two bucks. I miss Julie. Let's see those pecs, Lady K. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm a little bashful. <laughs> also, watching Vinny is like what it. I'm just looking into what it would be like if I had access to Brendan Schaub. I'm like, oh, thank God, thank God, I can actually talk to the guy. That's what I would be doing. <laughs> oh, should I book Brendan Schaub? I bet you I could. <laughs> Ooh, you I'll to be do- there. Mike, would you like me to do that for you, buddy? <laughs> Absolutely, I would. <laughs> All right, message me later. I'll this... see if I can book Brendan Schaub just for you. And I, hey, listen, I'll fucking do it for you, pal. I don't fucking care. Thank this you, one buddy. definitely is mint salad. ASE presents 20 bucks. Vinny's crush on Stutcho is cute. Now I'm bashful. From mint salad. <laughs> uh, tits mint salad on her fansly if you want to uh, check out what she's up to. Mike cuts two bucks. KB is sniping you. What a tool, FKB. FKB. Mm-hmm. Jason of Cleveland, $5. F. Oh, f- I'm, I'm so ready to say F, everyone. Five for <laughs> Phil. He's got great insight on this dabble verse. You got it, Jason of Cleveland. I'll make sure he gets his three dollars and forty cents. <laughs> uh, that's doo doo baby two box Carl. How come two dollar super chats are beneath you? Well, I just what say you? I just proved you wrong, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> For the fucker. 
uh, BJD Productions two bucks. Battle of the Blobs version two point mm. FVP hashtag Team Phil. Mm. Phil Elmore's getting some support over here, Vinny. How do you feel about that? You training? He's gonna need some extra support. <laughs> Peter O'Keefe two like, bucks again. Really thin branch. <laughs> John tried to get Chili fired from the Stern Show. Yeah. Yes, he did. He also tried to get uh, JD fired from the Stern Show, which is mm-hmm. a weird move. Mojo yeah, Buffalo, two John's bucks. a piece of shit. I don't think also behaving like a piece of shit is, <laughs> is the answer to that. Yeah, is it <laughs> shocking? Well, John's a piece of shit behind the scenes. We're pieces of shit on the internet for mm-hmm. entertainment value. There's a difference right, there. Exactly. Yeah. Either way, folks, we live in a sewer. <laughs> all right. This is the question we all want to know from Mojo Buffalo. Two bucks. Vinny, who are you polling for? Polling for Israel or Palestine? What's well. I'm pulling for peace. Clay Dabler with t- two pounds. Good man, Vinny. Who gives a fuck what they say? Preach. I don't know what point he's referring to. I don't remember. All of the good, good ones points. I made. Phil <laughs> rules FKB says Jason of Cleveland. I am Jason of Cleveland. <laughs> You're from Cleveland. It's not. I, I'm, I'm big in Cleveland. I mean, I'm big everywhere, but I'm big in Cleveland. <laughs> it's uh, a thin branch, they, Phil. They put air in his cheeks again with $5. When someone acts one way in public, abusive, and behind the scenes different, nice, that doesn't make them a real person. That's called manipulation. John John's playing a character, manipulation. like Mr. Honest. Well, it is it is classic narcissist behavior is, is that as long as you're getting what you want, uh, you're very happy. And as soon as there's any pushback, there's going to be you know retribution. Yes. And, and they're charming. A lot of times they're very charming. That's how they God. get their way. How badly? So we got Dr. Drew Pinsky. I, I should say you guys did on the Uncle Rico show uh, a couple weeks ago. All we wanted to do was get Dr. Drew to say that Joe's a narcissist, and we just <laughs> couldn't present enough evidence. He had to go to dinner. He had to go to dinner. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Meredith Halfpenny says hashtag Team Phil. Phil's getting uh, some support. He needs yeah. it. Matthew Raleigh five bucks. Blind Mike, glad you have help to carry Carl. Opie of Florida hamburger. Wouldn't want you to hurt your back. Also, vote for Vinny and the creep off. Matthew Raleigh. I do what I can. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> All right. So let's get into this, Mike, because you were part of a controversy this week as well. Not as big of a controversy as uh as Vinny, obviously. But John finally came out and said, you know what? This IQ test with Blind Mike, I'm over it. We're moving on. I don't want. <laughs> yeah. but you know now I see, now I feel silly for him asking me. <laughs> <laughs> so he challenged you to an IQ test, and then he backed out, and it's somehow your fault. Is that what well, happened? Yeah, the, the, the egg is on my face here. It was a it was a shame that I allowed him to challenge me to an IQ test in the first place. So my question to the panel, and I'll start with you, Blind Mike. Will John ever admit he doesn't have a 160 IQ and he's not a member of Mensa? Can he just well, the weird thing is he did, that? right? Didn't he, he did admit that at one time, didn't he? Right, because Royce, his co-host at the time, this is going back to 2017, maybe 2018, yeah. goes, John, you're not in Mensa, so you got to stop saying that. And Jack goes, no, I know, but it's funny. I, I like to say that. So there was that one brief moment mm-hmm. that I played on WATP five years ago right. where he admitted he wasn't in Mensa, and now, just like Jamaica, he's back on, no, I'm in Mensa. Yeah. He, so I, I think, I think there's something, I think you're wrong. When you said um, a couple weeks ago, you were like, I think John is basically baiting us, like acting dumber than he is. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. Yeah. That was my big theory of the week. Yeah. Carl I think there's Russo's. Yeah. Vince I don't Russo know that today on BS show. That's right. I don't agree with it, but I think there's something to it in the sense that I think he does do that with these Jamaica bits and uh, the IQ and all that sort of shit. I think he, in those moments, he is doing that, where he's presenting himself as superior, so he can play that card, but also he has in his back pocket, like, I'm joking. So eventually, yeah. if he ever is called out, like, if there's definitive proof, he can say, I'm joking about the IQ, and that's why I knew the IQ test would never happen, because it would end this hilarious joke that John has running, that he also tries to pass off as true, that he has a 160 IQ, and that he's in Mensa. Like it would just expose that. Even if John's smarter than me, he's it's, he's not going to have a one thirty or above IQ. It's just not right. possible. My, well, it's funny. Is oh god. No, it's it's funny that like the bit. If he wants to do the bit, the bit would be I'm I'm a member of Mensa. I have one sixty IQ. When he fucks something up, 
you know, when he, when he doesn't get something right, gets, a, yeah. gets an answer wrong, uh, right. something doesn't work technology wise, but if you're going to do the bit, you don't, you don't say he, uh, he answers a question, you know, he knows, he knows a, a quote from a movie. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You can't mess right. with this. Right. That's not the joke. That's, that's, <laughs> that's going, that's going against the joke. Right. Okay. So I, Mike, you've articulated this perfectly. Cause I was thinking the same thing as blind Mike was saying that. And he's right. Blind Mike is right about this. He's got this backup plan. Like, Oh, if I get called out, it was a goof. And like I said earlier in the show, it's the same as Chad Zumach and he called out for mm. lying, but you're right. It's not a bit, it's not a joke because he's not using it in a joking manner. There's no payoff to it. Right. So right. you can't be like, I fooled you. Like you fooled no one. None of us believe that for a second. <laughs> and you weren't using it for self-deprecating like it would be used as a mm. joke. Can you believe mm -hmm. I'm 160 IQ and I had my it's, fucking mic turned off for half the show? Right, Jesus. Right. It's the exact same routine that he pulled with his sock puppet Reddit account mm. where after yes. he got caught, he's like, everybody knew it was me. No, you were talking about <laughs> yourself in the third person and getting yes. yourself support. Yeah, and, like, and you the crazy one. If John wanted to be funny with it, a way to go about it would be to message me on the side and be like, like once he realized he didn't want to take this IQ test, which I knew immediately, somehow mm. it took him a couple of weeks. But when he, he would have messaged me and been like, hey, it'd be hilarious if you came to Rochester and we revealed I have an 80 IQ or something like that. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Or or make it seem like it's an official test and make him a 180 IQ. <laughs> you right. know, like those are the two ways to go about it. But John doesn't have that instinct. He has to be confrontational all the time. Like, I didn't go to him. Yes, I've been shitting on him. So he could, he's more than welcome to shit on me. But I didn't go out of my way to find John and say, hey, you're a moron. He stumbled across one of my clips one day and started tweeting at me that I'm an idiot and then challenging me to an IQ test. I've never said I have a high IQ. I might be dumber than John for all I know. We'll never know now because this test will never happen. <laughs> but like that might have exposed uh -oh, that I'm dumb. alert. Retard alert class! Sounds to me like Mike's dumb, everybody. <laughs> but, but, well, here, here's what's funny about that, Vinny. Most people don't know who the fuck I am <laughs> that follow John. So no one's going to be like, guys, can you believe Blind Mike was dumber than John? No one's going to give a shit. That's why it's not an interesting bit even that John threw down. So you're smarter than a blind guy. I'll watch that show. Yeah. <laughs> and you know john always falls back on it it was a joke you know like when he physically threats threatens people oh, i was just joking i was just oh, joking yeah. You know. yeah yeah he did that to me when i yeah. confronted him about it he's like well what did he say he goes well everyone knows i wasn't gonna do that oh that's right yeah he was yeah. he was uh saying uh, a biker gang was gonna visit me in florida at my house mm -hmm. right 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 and well, so he, he threatened me with physical violence from him and his buddies the harley gang there and i go, he said the john, same thing about pistol whipping Anthony Cumia with his yes. own gun. Oh, that was a yeah, bit. Yeah. <laughs> so and the mafia, so I didn't he make allusions to like John Gotti Jr. or something? Yeah. He's yeah, talking yeah. about, oh, you know, I've been hanging out with John Gotti Jr. too much. And meanwhile, people in John Gotti Jr.'s family said, get my fucking uh uncle's name out your fucking mouth, I believe was the the quote. So yeah, so, I listened to that. So I, I confronted John and I go, Well, you know, you you actually threatened me with physical violence with this biker gang in Florida. And he goes, Well, Carl, come on, you know I don't know a biker gang in Florida. I'm like, I know that, but other people might not. It might actually take that seriously, like you're threatening me. But yeah, again, he always falls back on it's a joke, but jokes are supposed to be funny. Mm -hmm. So and that and this is why on uh, Sunday, 10 a.m. on Blind Mike Project YouTube, go uh, go follow it. That's why I'll be retiring from talking about Stuttering John. It's the last hurrah. We're having a funeral for him because I was genuinely, I got to the point where I was like insulted by the way he was talking to and about me, where it's yeah. like, he said, hey, let's do an IQ test. I said, I accept. Hack Ride was going out of his way to try and make it happen. Like we put the pieces in place to make this happen. And then he treated me like such an asshole where he's like, oh mike with this iq to set it up mike as if I'm, I'm i'm his assistant like i'm supposed to do yeah. his work for him all of a sudden and that's where i was just so turned off i was just i'm like i'm not interested in this guy anymore he's a fucking loser sorry Vinny. well <laughs> listen man it's free fucking world i have to say <laughs> everyone's right to their opinion <laughs> I, I love blind mike well, him and i co-host who are these socials every thursday you could have your opinion you're just podcast. wrong phil but but blind <laughs> mike is doing the same thing that i goof on people for where he's announcing his departure <laughs> for, some, for some reason mike's like and by the way this is the last time i'm gonna talk about i don't believe that for a fucking second if you have to announce that you're no longer well, talking about Senator john I'll it means you. you're gonna keep talking about Senator john it comes up on the show <laughs> people on my own show predict that uh, within a couple of weeks yeah <laughs> we, may, we may have made some caveats within the show but no i i genuinely think i'm done 
I've always talked about, you know, I've been in this band, the Isotopes, for 22 years or something. I'm like, well, how do we get people interested in our show? We'll announce our last <laughs> show ever. Get a beat, right. tons of people out. And then we have a reunion show a month later. Whoa, the Isotopes are back. I can't fucking believe it. You're going to miss me, get... guys. You're going to want to watch Sunday because that's it. <laughs> that's get interest. Ryan A2 Buck says, we are body surfing him from the stage to the cools. cools. That would be amazing. Could you imagine? See, this is what I root for at uh your march 10th event centering john live.com is that people show up there and they're probably part of the dabble verse but they're rooting for john much in the way that at Pottstown perry caravello was received mm -hmm. right where it's just like there he is holy yeah. shit i've been watching this guy on the internet for all these years here he is in person this amazing standing ovation john's crying he can't believe the admiration he's receiving yeah. that's what oh, i yeah. see yeah that very well could happen it could go lots of different ways and i'm hoping for that because i feel like that'll make for the best show now Vinny, could you try to get this across to, this is the john that i want where th there's one moment that i think if you could pull that out of john then he would be a real human being and it's where uh john was on with you carl and bob levy and kevin i think it was his first time back where you guys asked him about being an Uber driver or something. And you said, why did you lie about it? And he goes, because I was embarrassed. Yeah. And then he kind of laughed about it. He's like, I was embarrassed. What the fuck do you want from me? What that moment, moment that I was, was like, that's a human being. And that's the yep. only mm -hmm. time I've ever seen him act like that. But yep. he, he is a human. And that's the thing. Like, I understand. Oh, I'm saying that... show that side. Then. Yeah, he yeah, never does that's that. That's up to him. I mean, that's up to him to show it. And I feel like he probably should too, Mike. I feel like there's a, this whole environment has makes him posture. I feel like this is because he listen, if you feel like every time you turn around, someone's attacking you, it makes it very hard to want to show any weakness. And that in itself probably isn't a great way to go through life. Mm -hmm. Uncle Jack says, Vinny, when you get your wings, will you have John sign? <laughs> no, nah, it fucks up the buffalo sauce. Absolutely not. <laughs> you don't want to get a Sharpie involved. That's not a great flavor. Uh, computer user ghost with five pounds says, well done. We're finally figuring out the concept of human beings, Vinny. Now we can go back to laughing at all the <laughs> spurgy ones. Yes. Have at it, kids. Yeah. <laughs> Penis wrinkle to all five bucks. Vin, why do you feel the need to be John's guardian angel in all of this? You're just morally superior to everyone in the devil verse. No. And have to no, show everyone? No, no, no. It, listen, man, the, it, this fucking fell into my lap. I never in a million years, if you told me a year ago that I would be planning this and working on this, would I you would do not, anything differently. I <laughs> would have canceled my cell phone service. <laughs> I, I would have moved. <laughs> now, Vinny, no. have. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Can I tell you a great moment? I meant to clip it. I, I never I never clipped it because the context I don't think makes sense as a clip. But he plays a clip of Carl watching John and Vinny. And Vinny says something to Carl where he's busting. I'm sorry. Vinny says something to John where he's busting John's balls. And then Carl starts talking. And then later in that episode, John goes, boy, I'm really not happy with what Vinny said there. Thinking Vinny and Carl were in the same room. But in reality, it was Carl reacting to a clip of Vinny and uh, John. <laughs> what, did this happen yesterday? Yeah, what? What are you talking about? Did this happen, Mike, did this happen like yesterday? Yes. Okay, so... That explains the weird text message I got. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> yeah. hmm. Wait, hold on. So, so Carl, yeah, so you I, did an episode analyzing John and Vinny, right? I, I did. I, I posted on YouTube yesterday morning. Yep. So John watched that clip. Oh, and I when he saw <laughs> Carl, he's called, he saw Vinny talking and making a joke at John's expense. And then Carl talking right after. So he thought the conversation was between Vinny and Carl, <laughs> even though it was between John and Vinny. I got to find that clip. That sounds amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, that's fantastic. I owe Suzanne her $10. This dream of resurrecting John on stage in Rochester is so naive. Not going to happen. That show is going to be fun and vicious. Chain the doors during the Q and A so SJ doesn't run. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna tie him to the chair on the stage for that. <laughs> you might have to. He do doesn't that. know that. Yeah, but that's the plan. Now, Eric Vinny, oh, oh, real quick, I, I was just I was curious. Uh, you've talked to John about the show. Has is he writing new material, Vin? Okay, this is what he's told me. I am uh, full disclosure. Mm -hmm. um, the show is going to be three parts, from what we're talking about, and it's going to be 
John wants to do some Beer stand up and then liquor and then <laughs> oh. John wants to do some stand up. Um, he wants to do some storytelling. He has some specific things that he think would be good for a live audience. And he said that over the next few months, he's going to do as many gigs as he can to get himself back in shape for doing stand up. Now, mm. whether or not he's going to be writing more material for that, I I would assume so. That's what that means when you're going out. Obviously, to although work on, although Caitlyn so. Jenner jokes never go out of style. That's true. Well, yeah. Caitlyn Jenner will never go out of style. She's a lady. Um, I feel like uh, he says he's going to put the work in, and Cardiff and I are going to help him put together some extra presentation around his storytelling stuff okay. to make it. So you're going to write all this shit for him. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. Do a good job. Cardiff do a great and job. you are going to help him with his presentation? A little bit. Oh, you're more invested in this than I realized. Well, well, yeah. well we were going to sit down. Oh, John was going to do it? Well, I, I, I didn't <laughs> realize. I thought Vinny booked John. I didn't realize he was the executive producer. You, you thought John show. was going to put effort into this? Carl. Can I, can I, you guys, Mike and Carl, you were at DabbleCon, right? Yeah. I why, why did DabbleCon work so well? Because we were very organized and worked yes. together as a team to put something yes. on. Yes. I am trying to do my best to make sure that we have a successful event. Oh, don't do that. I'm, I want to have a successful <laughs> event. There's that's nothing a, wrong with that. It would be so that. much funnier if it was a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Erica and two bucks. Vinny, you're rude. Love the creep off. Though. I am, and thank you. Creep off rules. Simon, three, four, three, exclamation point, five bucks. Sorry, Brian, Mike, but you're definitely smarter than John. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I try to All be right. Yeah. All right. No, yeah. that's not write, even really a compliment. When you write your, <laughs> it is they... you are, and you don't spell it while you are. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love that Simon feels like Mike is going to be disappointed that this is true. Like, <laughs> come on, guys, it. give him a little more credit. Tom, five bucks, chill, Vinny. You're killing the vibe. <laughs> All right, I'm. I'm. Chill. I disagree. I think Vinny's broad today. I, I agree. I think Vinny is. It's good that he's here. Vinny's a bad actor. This is from Nalax44. Just admit you think John sucks. Admit it! All caps. What say you? What say you? I don't acknowledge that nonsense. <laughs> I don't I don't think that's fair. I think the, there's been a lot of people saying that this is some kind of grand mall troll and that Cardiff and Vinny are going to, you know, pull a sheet away and there's going to be Shuli waiting for John on stage. And And nope. I think that's... I don't think that's the You're case close, at all. Bill, a pig's blood. It's pig's blood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's close to shoot. Cardiff and I were laughing about it. We said we should literally just suspend a bucket over the stage, <laughs> so everyone when they come in just thinks that's what's going to happen. A little misdirection. Uh, yeah, and then you just stab them. Yeah, because like we were just kind of like laughing. I I don't think that. Listen, people who want to say something to John are going to have their opportunity to say something to John. Not me. I'm not allowed there. That's true. That's I could always well no I'm blocked I can't even super chat him I can't well, say anything to John anymore I'm blocked well, everywhere he wants to date <laughs> your sister in law so maybe you can get her to ask the questions uh Christine I don't know if you're if you're married or not <laughs> did he say that to her? I swear to God John. she has the same last name as me and he knows that's that so she's my sister in law and she's like I'm not sure if you're married or not she is to my brother uh, but it's fine John O'Reilly two bucks what's the plan if S Trey tries to fight someone. Three out of ten. Oh, that's a good question. Well, uh, I tried know. to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I I watch. I don't know. Yeah. Nimrob seventy one. Actually, I've seen people get unruly at this comedy club, and there are some people who break that shit up. I've seen people get thrown, like literally thrown out the door there. Nice. <laughs> My favorite time at the old club. We had a, another club back in Webster. Yeah. Remember how there was a, a, sh- a door in the showroom that was an emergency exit? Yes. That led straight out to the back where the dumpsters were? Yeah. A guy tried to streak during a show one time. <laughs> and uh, Mark at Bolito did your show, yeah? The yeah. thing people don't know about Mark is he's a two-time New York State Taekwondo champion. Mm. Mark at Bolito will fuck you up. And it doesn't matter how old he is, he will fuck you up. And this guy ran up on the stage naked. And before he knew it, Mark had his arm twisted so far behind his back and just one hand on the back of the guy's hand, like on his back, Mm -hmm. and guided him completely nude to that door and threw him into the snow (laughs) and walked back in like... I mean, I'm not really worried about security. We got those people around. Yeah, it'll be fine. Nimrob, 71, five bucks. Love Vinny, but... Have he and John discussed what happens to the 310 
show if John gets the second strike and disappears forever? How do you discuss think this? I told hmm. John this afternoon before I came here. Oh, you guys really do talk every day. Well, he, I hadn't talked to him since Monday. He called me and I and he said, "What's going on?" I said, "Oh, I'm going to do this show," and I said, "I'm going to go yell at this guy, Phil." And he's yeah. like, "Okay, good, have fun." <laughs> and I said. Uh, <laughs> I said to him, you need to get away from all of this shit. Do yourself a favor for your own mental health and disappear. Come back for the live show. Tease it all you want to. Go live your life until then. I'll see you in March. You'll be much happier. That's what I told him. I think if he went away, it would create more buildup for the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's actually probably oh, good for the show. Toddler Mode Melendez, five bucks. John will always do exact opposite of what he should do. And he's a preteen girl. Strike him. He's not going away. He craves the attention. You know, it's funny. I thought that too. And especially when uh, he went away for eight months, my prediction was the entire time, he'll be back next week. He'll be Mm. back next month. He'll be back. And he did stay away somehow, some way for eight months. He was paying attention, but he did say, oh, John Russo coming in. Thank you, Johnny. Vinny. Oh, I got to say this for Vinny. Vinny, in your honest opinion, he's funnier. SJ or Kumia. All right. I like, I love Johnny Russo. So I'll, I'll say this for him. But what, while he was away, wasn't he teaching? That was a teaching stint, right? It was, but he, he could yes. have easily gotten online yeah, on the weekends. But he had something or... in some hey, other income. I'm a little fuzzy on the timeline. Was that during COVID when no. he went away? He no, it was away... this, like last school year, basically. Yeah, it was November yeah. through June. Because his he he has said several times that his teaching was while he had a, a special dispensation for the COVID emergency, and that's why it was relatively easy for him to get that job. Uh, and I can't, I'm not sure how that squares with his eight month absence. Well, that actually ties into another question I had for the panel. Hmm. So since we're past uh, all the Vinny bashing, we can talk about this. So on Joey's stream last night, John threatened to leave the devil verse again saying he has another job that pays him well and that he doesn't need the income from the dabble verse. Now I've heard obviously John say both of these things over and over again. What do you guys think? Is it another lie or is there something to this? Mike Morris, what do you think about this? Everything's a lie. I, I, I don't believe anything he says. Yeah. Cause w- what could it possibly be? He's got another game. Yeah. What do you think, Phil? I think John mentioned that when he lost his teaching job, if he did in fact lose it, that he was losing $106,000 a year, but he was never making $106,000 a year. So in his mind, it's the potential money is the same as money in his pocket. So I believe he very well could have a potential job that would pay well, that maybe hasn't come to fruition yet. Mike, yeah, I think Gary? if he, did he say it was a good job? Yeah, he said it's a good paying job. Yeah. Okay, that's he, a he said it's a job that pays him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's what what's happening is like so he's been an Uber driver and a yeah. substitute teacher, and he wouldn't talk about that. If he has a job, it's he's a pizza delivery boy or something right, yeah. that he won't admit because if it was a great job, we'd be hearing all about it. And if he couldn't talk about it, then he would still be saying working on something in Hollywood. He would there would be some illusions to what it is. Anytime John just randomly pops up, like yeah, I've. You know, I've kept it quiet for a while. That's always a lie. It must that goes back to my my Jamaica theory, where it's yes. like there's no complaints about the airline or the airport. Right. There's yes. no way exactly anything is happening. He'd be talking about it the whole time. All right, I saved this for you, Vinny. John Russo, who was one of the writers of Anthony's book, he says, uh, Vinny, in your honest opinion, who's funnier, SJ or Kumia? Please explain in detail why it's Kumia. <laughs> Ant's new book destroys SJ. It's scorched earth. Oh, it's got a new book coming out. That's exciting. Ooh. Oh, what well. New book? I'll read Ant's book. Um, who's funnier? Uh, Anthony Cumia is the funniest man on earth, and nobody touches him since Norm died. So there you go. There you go. Wow. wow. High praise hmm. for the Ant Man. I don't agree with Ant on everything, but Ant is one of the most <laughs> naturally fucking funny yeah. human beings that's ever walked no the earth. No one agrees so. with Ant on everything. Yeah. <laughs> Looney Tunes critic, $2. Phil should apologize to Vinny. I actually did, and Vinny was less than receptive. I agree. Beavis Lee Ray, $5. I don't hate John. I just think he's a horrible person. And I love to watch him step on rake after mm-hmm. rake. <laughs> yeah. I don't hate the guy, but when he suffers, that's hilarious. <laughs> Vinny, what do you think about, uh, I know you watched Vince Russo on BS show this morning. And who knew Vince Russo from the WWE 
was uh, into the whole dabble verse yeah well, attention. i almost super chatted you guys this morning during that um uh, mike i almost sent in a super chat but i figured my money wouldn't be welcome at the shuli network <laughs> oh oh <laughs> that's why it's called the shuli network all money is welcome oh, yeah, no yeah. Sure. yes i'd like to thank him for uh renting you to carl today um <laughs> let me just say this i was going to say to vince russo vince if you would like to come to the show your VIP tickets are on me. It'd be mm. nice to have an independent observer there. So Vince Russo, if he gets this message, you are more than welcome. I will get you great seats and I will treat you uh, VIP, sir. All Excellent. right. There you go. Lawyers, guns and money, five bucks. Only bundles of six write letters to clubs, Phil. Mm. I, don't, I think he might be calling you gay. Well, There's just a little worse than that, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> who else do we know who does that all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Marco V193, five bucks. Does SJ's rider include Coors Light, a snot blanket, spoiled <laughs> veggies, and two plastic forks to comb his hair? Oh my God. I, I have clips of this. I'm going to play it on the show tomorrow. I can't wait. John had a veggie tray. He shows up on his show. He's got a veggie tray next to him. It's a week old, and he's eating just cucumbers, not dipping yeah. them in sauce or anything. Uh, just eating. John, it's like, oh, I'm cucumbers. John, John, you can't eat vegetables during your show, John. <laughs> like, this is your friend talking. He's like not showing eat off crunchy vegetables in the middle of your show. <laughs> the vegetables they were crunchy. Bad. He's the funniest person alive. He really is, man. Like nobody mm. else should do that in the world. Someone someone posted a picture on uh, I think Dabblers Anonymous where it was just a picture of John and the caption was, "If you have to smell your cu cucumbers, they've probably gone bad." <laughs> yeah, he's like, "No, this is pretty good. It's not a pickle, John. Oh, it's John. not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't eat vegetables on your show, dude." Lynn from Lancaster with five bucks. John claims to have taken an IQ test on CERN. Has anyone ever been able to find it? Very happy oh, to have Phil in the Devil question. Loved Street Sword. Hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, do you guys know about that? That's I was wondering the same thing because during my exchange with him, he mentioned that a couple of times that he was he, he took an IQ test on Stern, but I haven't been able to find it. So here's what I know about this, and people can correct me if I'm wrong about it. John never took an IQ test on Stern. The IQ test thing happened after he left, as far as I know, on Sirius. But John did claim that he took an IQ test and said what his score was on that Stern show, which was I think 132 or something like that. Yeah, something he like claimed. that. But it wasn't like a stern sanctioned IQ test like they ended up doing okay. in the Sirius XM days. Does anyone okay. know anything? Mike Morris, mm -hmm. you, you that's were that the same thing. Man. The same thing, yeah. I that that you know, yeah. Okay. Uh, but 132, I don't believe that either. <laughs> is this the yeah. real Kevin Brennan? I hope it is. I doubt it. Uh, <laughs> How would five you be bucks. Able to tell? Oh wow, another show about Sir John. Hex! Uh, oh wow. <laughs> if it is really him, he just spent all of his chat money he made today. <laughs> well, Look at, he does very Same. well on his show, mm. but um, I will say if there's anyone who's allowed to talk about stuttering Jeff on the internet, yeah, uh, yeah. flashy, flashy Vic with uh, five pounds, Vinny, get some chocolate ice cream and watch a Bridget Jones DVD <laughs> until your nips <laughs> stop hurting. That's the plan, and a bottle of hot water, mm. be nice oh. so for some tea. James Boyd, two bucks. If one letter shuts down a show, that's ridiculous. Yes. Hey, dude, it is absolutely ridiculous. But fact of the matter is, clubs really, you know, they don't want to be known for canceling comics. That's, that's a thing. Correct. But over the last few years, it's actually kind of shocking to see it happening in places where well, you would never think that I it was would. giving Market Polito props. I went to a comedy show uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I was talking to him about it and the fact that John's complaining people shut down the show because of a threat of violence against women, the most generic thing ever. And I was talking to Mark. I go, you had Antifa yeah. outside of this club, 40 people yeah. with signs and protesting for Dave Smith. Of all fucking people, Dave Smith. Yeah, the, the <laughs> Jewish guy. And Antifa is just like, this is anti-Semitic. You're like, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> so... Mark never even thought to cancel the show. Like that's he's not going to let protests. He's not going to let anything shut down his show because people don't yeah. like a comedian that's coming to town. Yeah, right. that's not something that we would do. Like the only person who could cancel John's show re realistically, I have no power. Phil, Elmore. if, if yes, if Phil <laughs> continues, if he writes his, two or three more emails. It's yes, over. If, if he continues his You're very heavy letter one. writing campaign. <laughs> <laughs> um. Like, I don't have the power to cancel it. The only person that has the power to cancel it is John. Mm -hmm. If John says, I'm not doing it, The only it, thing that will cancel John is low ticket sales mm -hmm. or John backing out. All right. 
I don't think he's going to. No, I don't think so either. Big Daddy Dodo, five bucks. All right, now this dumb show is getting good, Popcorn. Yeah, I knew this would be a fun lineup. This is a different lineup than we've had in the last two episodes. I believe your term was explosive. Explosive. Mm, I knew it would be. Zen's Dirty Sock Camper, five bucks. (laughs) Vinny, your demeanor today with Phil is much more aggressive than you were with John yesterday. Well, it wasn't yesterday, but yes. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, butch it up for Bob Levy. (laughs) Well, (laughs) let me me defend Vinny, even though he doesn't want me to. He was mad at me. He wasn't mad at John. He didn't have a reason to be mad at John. So that's entirely congruent, if you ask me. It's true. Dog Boy, two bucks. Go on a diet, Phil. You're one fart away from death. Mm. That's a good way to die, though. And, and Dog Boy's a doctor. Crash Austin with two pounds. Vinny is doing to Phil what Langford did to Sour. Sad. <laughs> how did I want how you did to you go to jail? That? I I want you to go to jail, <laughs> Phil. Who gives a shit? Who gives a fuck? Do not call this number again, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the reference. It's from uh, Stern. It's from the yeah, Howard. Steve, Steve Stern Langford and, and Sour Shoes had a little bit of a thing. Derek, three bucks. Are Vinny and Phil related? Have you done 23 and me? Wow. That's a good Plot twist. Right there. That's the 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 upshot of the like the doughy white guy factory that presses out the doughy white guys. We all come out looking alike. <laughs> Mensa John with two bucks. Vinny is the devil verse version of Fez Watley. I will end up in an insane asylum. <laughs> <pretty soon. laughs> That's really funny. Hey. Vinny is not a standalone fruit. Justin Yindra with $10. I was almost on Vinny's side, and then he opened his mouth. Yeah, Him happens. and John deserve each other. Phil's the better fat man now. Oh, well, that happens. <laughs> I was almost on Vinny's side, and then he opened his mouth. Yeah, <laughs> did it again. Oops. Damn it. Uh, you got to go and fucking... You know, it's, it's always better to be thought a fool than open your mouth and uh, prove, prove it. Prove it. That, whatever that Yeah, it's better to, term to is. you know... Keep your mouth closed and be thought a fool, then smile, talk, and prove it. Right, Kyle? Let's talk about Rocky <laughs> McDonald, our boy who's making your custom Celtic sneakers. Rocky McDonald is the Rocky. real saint. He also made our Wheel of Consequences, which is amazing. Which is mm. awesome. It's almost as if John isn't worth fighting over. <laughs> <laughs> what I really like is how John and Carl are fighting over little old me. I just I can't wait for the video of you and John where you're just going, I just can't quit you. <laughs> well, that's the, the doo doo baby, two bucks. Mini, John believes diarrhea in my okay. <laughs> 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 there's some naughty, there's some naughty words in there. Carl, uh, the best part about yeah. today's about Vinny yelling at me today is that John legitimately has no idea who I am. He he talked about me once on his show because he was reading Muttering Jay's Twitter feed, but he has no memory that I exist. I, I super chatted him the other day, and it went right by him, and he had no right. no recognition. In John's defense, it's hard to keep up with all the haters on the internet. <laughs> no, but <laughs> he read my them. name out are loud. You, like are, it, you there really, was nothing. are you really upset that John didn't remember you? No, I'm stating a fact that I yeah. do not exist in his universe. Until okay. now. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I always love when people chat them and make up that like Drew and the Drew and Mike show was talking about him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I don't know who that is. <laughs> uh, Will East Homeless <laughs> uh, says, "How much do I have to super chat to get Vinny to stop crying like a girl?" That Phil tagged him on a tweet. <laughs> Another twenty. Another twenty would be good. Totally. One eye with five Australian dollars says Vinny is John's bitch. He should have flat out told John that Carl didn't post his audiobook on Patreon and let John stew in it. Uh, well, Vinny did. Vinny stuck yeah. up for you in that moment. I think you did. King of all dicks, two bucks. Vinny is kind of simple-minded like John, I see. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Correct. Now you're getting to the essence of yes. Vinny Paulino. Very Kindred good. spirits. <laughs> Kirkland Red 100s, five bucks. I think we should anti-cancel SJ. Call comedy clubs and demand that we have him back. <laughs> Don't <laughs> stole him. That, that would be I the like. great. That would be the greatest thing the Dabble verse ever did. That would be amazing. Hi, I'd like to buy tickets for the Stuttering John show, please. <laughs> what? He's <laughs> not <right>. booked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? They always have at the comedy clubs. They don't really do it much anymore. But you still have the comment cards. Like fill out who you want to see at the comedy right. club. I'm sure they do yeah. it online or something. Yeah, we do. We re- should just be focusing on SJ. Write in ballot. Let's go. <laughs> do a reverse. You you call clubs and say we will we will hurt women if John's not there. 
Right. Yeah. See. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of violence and a lot of women. I love all these ideas. Be dialing people. (laughs) (laughs) CJ Spags, fifty dollars. CJ Spags. Yay! Super chats. Says, as a correction officer, I've dealt with killers and psychopaths. You can have normal human conversations. Vinny, you have Stockholm syndrome. You might be right. Save me. Mm-hmm. Wow. Someone saved me. Painkiller, five bucks. Silence Vinny... of the loses. <laughs> Vinny dubbing all his angst on Phil because he's decided to slurp SJ's brat. Vin wants to be a person is gayer than anything SJ's kids have done. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I love oh. Justin Forth. Uh, I'm sorry. Justin Fortin, $2. What do you think about John's Jamaica trip, Vin? I don't think it happened. It didn't. Justin, I don't think it was Nobody real. thinks it happened. I don't no. think it was real. James Boy. Did, is did he talk to you long. from Jamaica? Was he messaging you? Yeah, did he mess you from Jamaica no. at all? I, listen, guys, I got to tell you something. You were, you guys weren't texting that week? I got to tell you Vin, something. Vin, I got to make it quick. The fees are outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Can you hear me over the ocean sounds? <laughs> the waves are crazy over here. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Well, when he talks, it always sounds like wow. It waves. sounds beautiful, John. <laughs> yeah. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, his mouth sounds like the ocean. <laughs> okay, uh, what was the question that you just? The asked question me? is, can I get a picture of Vinny in the cow bikini? I need it for reasons, says James Boyd. Uh, we gave out the cow bikini at DabbleCon. We no longer have it. I forgot who grabbed it. It might have been um, B Daffler. Oh, good. Who grabbed the cow bikini? Ugh, Somebody I don't did. know. DJQ with 10 bucks. Vinny is the best looking girl John has had since Susanna. And mm. biggest tits. Mm. Good for John. Mm-hmm. Koof, two bucks. Thank you all for not killing yourselves. Thank you, You're Koof, welcome. for not killing yeah. yourself. The greater good. Oh my gosh. Doug from the Jingles Department. Now, Boy and Mike will know this. We've been doing this thing on Who Are These Socials. If you give us $25 or more, we create a personalized jingle for your super chat. Yep. And the greater good was on the list, and he did super chat us yesterday, and I totally dropped the ball. So, the greater good, this is for you, buddy. Here comes the money! Here we go. Thank you, the greater good. You are an amazing beloved super chatter who is also not sure what Mike Morse brings to a show. All right, I'm back. back to the show, everybody. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't even know. Mike, I didn't even don't worry, it's an inside joke. You gotta listen yeah. to more of these socials. <laughs> yeah. I haven't even listened to this yet. Yeah. 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 It's a dig it. on Mike Morris out of nowhere. Let me, wow. let me get this out of my back. Hold on. <laughs> Good God. I do not see <laughs> Pologism all the time. David okay. Chandler coming back in. Thank you, David Chandler. I'd play your jingle, but we played it. P.S. That super chat was fake. This is the one. <laughs> so, so is this one. So is this one. That's yeah. right. If John is fun. sniping this right now, I want John to know all these viewers are fake. The super mm. chats are fake. We're doing this to fuck with you, John. Oh, In fact, I lose that. money on this every day. I'm just going into debt just <laughs> you, to fuck with John. Do you want me to pull my mask off and show everyone I'm really shooly now? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. Oh, my boy Casey Armstrong is here. KC, we got to get him on the panel. Five bucks. Although I'm not sure if he would. He's friends with John. Great show, guys. What happened to my idol Patrick besides being pleasant and thoughtful? <laughs> You want to explain this to me? A fatty patty he is not a pleasant nor thoughtful, uh, carry, according to Casey. Okay, so let's talk about that real quick. Thank you, Casey, for the segue. So, for whatever reason, John accused Patrick Melton of being a, a pedo this mm. week. He pulled up a photo of a guy that looks nothing like Patrick Melton, and he goes, I don't know, I think this might be him. And this guy had like this rap sheet of having CP on his computer and whatever else was going on. And so he's on there with Joey C. Joey C's his guest. And John's like, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this or not. And Joey C goes, Hey, you can say whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You can say whatever you want about anybody. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I talked to someone about this. Fine. No, no, no. Accusing someone of being a pedophile is yeah. actually uh, slander. Very actionable. <laughs> yeah, very actionable. Well, he, he does the same thing. Hear that ride? <laughs> he does the same what thing. What did he say in a hilarious way, though? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the same thing to Kumia. Yeah, yeah, it calls him a pedophile just because he dates younger women. But uh, you know, in the case of accidentally, it's ancillary to doxing. It's not really doxing, but he's misidentifying someone. Mm -hmm. Like that's at least it's a good faith error if he thinks that's him. Good faith. Mm. Well, because I don't think he set out to falsely accuse Melton 
of being a child molester. He thought oh, he had okay. the goods so, and he so was So he's wrong. playing the moron defense? Your Honor, I'm a fucking idiot. You can watch any of my shows that prove that. That's not a defense. Well, no, but it, 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 you shouldn't accuse people. Like, I've been accused of being the Philip Elmore who's on death row in Ohio. And so they don't let us have, you know, this setup on death row in Ohio. So yeah. it's, yeah. it's how many last true. meals have you had? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> but I, again, I think he thought he'd found the dirt and he was very excited about it. That's not the same thing as getting up in the morning and saying, I'm going to falsely accuse this guy of being a pedophile. I I'm just going to do that to cool me up. I say, yeah, well, all right, yes, I, I see yeah, what you're you, saying that. You do have to be careful, though, because the, he does kind of look like him. Hot defense does not really work in court in <laughs> slander <laughs> cases. Not a good move. It's not a good one. Not a good one. No, Larry Appleton with uh, three Australian dollars. Love the show, but it's not nefarious <laughs> enough. Wow, we're yeah, working sorry. on it. <laughs> I love when somebody posted, like, can you define nefarious? And John just took that super chat off the screen as fast <laughs> as possible. Like, ah. Uh, <laughs> Well, and he goes, fine, then I'll start saying egregious, which is not yeah. a synonym. <laughs> it's not the same thing at all. <laughs> uh, all right. Dagobert Uber Dangle with $5. Mm -hmm. Been here since day one, but still jo still thinks John deserves kind and fair treatment. John yeah. is an irredeemable, mean-spirited C-word. This mm -hmm. will end poorly. So he's referring to you, Vinny. With your I was, oh, it was directed towards me. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe it'll end bad. I don't know. But, you know, can I also, you know, that's a, this is a really good spot to say one thing I really want to get out here today, Carl, if I can. Um, people. All are right. So William Bogesian. Oh, God. <laughs> one of the things that I constantly have been seeing written about me and it has been written in these emails is that somehow I am magically profiting off of this show. Yeah. That's a weird one where I don't know what kind of money you could possibly make that you'd be doing this grift for the next six months. Right. in order to pull this off because yeah. that's a long time to deal with this well the fact of the matter is and john will back me up on this when he asked me about hey could i possibly do something with you guys i was like well let me talk to the club i talked to them they were they were interested and what we did was we decided to open up on a night of business when we would not normally be open which is a sunday we're usually closed now here's what's great about this all of our servers all of our staff all get an extra night of work and tips mm -hmm. right does Vinny get money from the door no, no. Does not Vinny get? I am not on commission. Does Vinny take a booking fee for this? No, hmm. I didn't. Wait, it's a shame Phil so, wanted to put so, a stop to all this. So, well, I never. <laughs> my name is an. I never accused contract. him of profiting. My my email does not mention <laughs> right. Vinny. No, 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 no. Other Phil. people did. No, a lot of people did. have, and and I'm just saying. Literally, all I did was what my job is with the club is. Somebody approached us about doing a show. I said, "Hey, do you guys have interest?" They worked out the details. That's what I did. Do you ever take a booking fee when you arrange something like that? uh that's a yes no, so, no yes no. yes but not like this not like this uh like with DabbleCon, those are gonna i worked with you guys and right, i got right. i did get a, uh, a cut from DabbleCon. i got I yeah got but that wasn't that. for booking you ran a bunch right, of right. Shows. But, yeah, like, yeah, that's can, can i ask it, a perfectly honest sure. question without any Please. hostility what do you get out Fuck of you phil <laughs> oh, sorry, well i'm curious what Vinny is getting out of this since he's not getting a booking <laughs> like, what do you get out of doing it okay well it's a very good question when and that's not I a trick decided, question. I'm not not making it is an a fair question. It is a fair question. I'm trying to really think about my answer because I want to express it properly because I'll answer it. Um, over the last few years, obviously, everything that's happened with John, um, it's gone back and forth. It's been vicious. Everybody hates everybody. Everybody does this. But the fact is, <laughs> the dabble verse revolves around the dabbler, right? Correct. Okay. So if I give the dabble verse an opportunity to see the dabbler, am I just giving the dabble verse what they want and an opportunity to have something to talk about, something to speculate? Am I giving them fodder for everybody's show? I guess that's what I'm getting out of it because there certainly isn't money. He's doing this for all of us, everyone. I am your, the <laughs> I am the Jesus Christ of the dabble verse. Put it on a t-shirt. Thank you, Benny. No, hey, I hey, honestly, Carl? that's the only thing I could possibly get out of this is that everybody gets content for six months. You're yeah. welcome. Go ahead. Thanks. I, I just wanted you to be aware of this. When you started playing the game show music under Vinny, it kind of made him sound silly. So I wanted you to know <laughs> before you do that again. <laughs> Will, I'm over two months. Thank you, Will. Book Kubi always out of the hospital. I'd love to have Anthony back, and he yeah. is out of the hospital. Mark, Mark said Anthony can come back anytime he wants. <laughs> just, not, <laughs> just not Mike. Uh, Mike Crawl is a new member. Thank mm. you very much, Mike. 
Lots of Mike's Meredith Halfpenny. <laughs> Hi, Mike Morse. Hi, Meredith. John's Black Liver is still around. Fan of both, but it's obvious Vin drank the Kool Aid. Uh, Joe Ava, 1232 bucks. When does this end? We already ruined John's life. Oh, well, he had done that long before we got yeah, involved. No, we are not the reason why John, we're keeping John afloat. Yeah. Trust me. And I, I believe this. I, I know there's a lot of people who think that we've made John's life more difficult for him. John would have no notoriety or any publicity or anything going on if it weren't for the dabble verse and everything we've created around centering job it's a right. strange monster that's just it feeding is. itself dude it i don't is. know how else to describe it it's very wild to sit here and watch the, the i don't think it's the thing... best thing for his mental health but like for any sort of <laughs> career or notoriety yeah. it's the only thing he has the the only thing that he's done on his own was prank donald trump when trump was the president and that was terrible Awful. it only got news because people hate trump mm -hmm. the the call itself was a nothing burger so John that wasn't if, Bob Menendez he was talking to? No, I don't believe it or not. That wasn't Bob Menendez going, oh, yeah. So uh anyway, uh kids uh -oh. in cages. So if you extrapolate out five years from that call, and that's where we are today, would mm -hmm. he have done anything noteworthy that anyone was paying attention to stuttering John Melendez in this day and age? And I opine no. No, definitely. Agreed. Not. He'd yeah. still be doing that political podcast and no one would be listening. Right. Well well, well he still is and nobody is. But You're besides right. that, <laughs> painkiller five dollars. Vinny, be sure say I'm not trying to be a dick to Carl like you did to SJ. Every time you say something that isn't flattering, Carl is a person too. <laughs> he yeah, is you not. notice he doesn't, he doesn't treat me with kid gloves like he does his boyfriend. <laughs> I noticed that, Carl. You're obviously been battered already. <laughs> <laughs> Cardiff Electric, your other boyfriend. Oh. If you love traders, vote Vinny. Hashtag SJ Army unblock yeah cardiff i love that he never stopped stirring the pot yeah i know yeah. mcdabbler two box says carl seen bailin dupree on dr phil i sure have Ooh, hmm. i sure have with her whole family uh, erica and two box blind mike you're a bean town hero Aww. is that right <sighs> that's what uh, erica is saying glad to do you want to disagree with her i do what i can <laughs> <laughs> i'm just a, i'm just one man I'm just a guy. Who teaches just a kids. <laughs> <laughs> we should all recreate that speech he gave from the hotel room in uh, <laughs> Vegas. Changing yeah. lives for the better. I just, I just one man who changes lives <laughs> for the better. And I once got an email from a parent. Nimrob seventy one five bucks. I'm a fan of every show represented on the screen. That being said, I despise SJ with an ungodly passion. Great show, gentleman. Well, Thank I'm you, glad Nimrob we can all come 71. together. And the Bladcast showing up, my buddy Christian. Oh. I'd like to announce that Eric Zane and I will no longer be discussing Quincy reruns on Who Are These Broadcasters <laughs> this well, week, Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern. I'll tell Island. you one place you can do it, Christian. Go to blindmike.net, subscribe to the Patreon. If Tom. I find out those motherfuckers are talking about Thunder in Paradise, Carter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Carter, By the way, fuck them up. I, we own this on the creep off, motherfuckers, all right? No Ooh. one else talking about Thunder in Paradise. <laughs> That's my thing. Um, Better hope yeah, we don't so, get to that Quincy finale. Real quick to uh, um, uh, the Bladcast, Christian Blad, him and Eric Zane host Who Are These Broadcasters on the Who Are These Podcast YouTube channel. And we are having a special time on Tuesday, 2 p.m. rather than our regular 3 p.m. So an hour earlier coming up this Tuesday. Pete D, five bucks. Phil has the same look on his face that SJ usually has when being crapped on. What's wrong, Phil? Can't take it? This is just my face. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't. There's not much I can do about it. It's just my face. I don't see Phil getting worked up. J Dog with ten Canadian dollars. Phil is still the man, even though it was a bitch move to write the club. Glad he is owning it. Much respect. Well, yeah. I mean, that's. Listen, when I got called out for sending DMs to muttering J with inside information, <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, of course I did that. It was funny. I, I am not perfect. I am one man, but I can learn. <laughs> this is why pencils have erasers. This is why pencils that's have true. erasers. Yes. Don Carino, two bucks. Vinny sold his soul for the love of John. Mm. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It was for that slice of pizza in 2003. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, we're so far behind. Chaka Khan, five bucks. I see the Rochester show ending like the movie Carrie. Vinny asked John to prom to be nice, <laughs> but we know how that went. Mm. We did already predict that, and I, it was probably after you saw that super chat. I'm sorry. Uh, Dagobert 
Uber Dangle, five dollars. Phil tries to cancel John's show. Vinny angry. John tries to cancel Carl's income. Nope. Vinny A OK. Dick move. Phil. <laughs> All right, we are um, approaching two hours into this hot body. Thirteen thirty two bucks. Hashtag F Vinny Paulino. Herb. It's a comedy podcast. Chill, Vinny. Yeah, Vinny was getting fired up today. All right, I have more super chats to get to. I am not going to sign off until we get to them, but. I have held you guys here captive for two hours, and I very much appreciate that. So I want to say, uh, Phil Elmore, thank you for joining us. You can stick around, but I do want to get your plug in. Uh, Surviving the News is your YouTube channel. You have a show tonight. Tonight at 8 p.m. I'm going to start doing it every weeknight. Every weeknight? Wow. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a weeknight show. Uh, at the Surviving News uh, STN. What are you, the O'Reilly factor? Fucking <laughs> thing sucks. I got my audio. I got my thing turned way down. Um, so Friday nights, or I'm sorry, weekday nights at 8 p.m. on Surviving yep. the News. Yep, the STN Chicago Nightly News Phil, Roundup. Phil Elmore. And uh, Blind Mike Geary, you guys go live Sundays at 10 a.m.? Yes, and this, I don't know if you guys have heard, but this Sunday we are doing the funeral of Stuttering John. Where's the last time we ever talk about him? Last time ever, everyone. <laughs> so this is it. Nothing else 10 a.m. Sunday, about. I swear. And uh, I also do Why Are You Laughing? If you want to check that out, it's a history comedy podcast. Both Carl and Vinny have been on a couple of times. Car- Vinny was on recently. We talked about Mike Warnke, which was pretty interesting. Yes. And um, I also do Who Are These Socials every Thursday at 6 with Carl. So check that out as well. Mike, I got to ask you a question. So you do Why Are You Laughing? The History of Comedy Podcast, which I love. Yes. Do you know that Mike Morris is a part of Ha Ha History? Oh. A book it's funny. It's also... so funny you say that, Carl, because I actually do have to go. So I'm glad you're segueing yeah. into that now. So I can get out of here. <laughs> it's the only reason Mike's glad he's blind is he doesn't have to read it. <laughs> no, uh, I did not know that, actually. I'd have, I'd have Mike on sometime. Think of a topic, Mike. I'll have you on. All right. Absolutely. We'll have to do Mike. all the work. <laughs> yes present to me all the clips you want me to play and uh i've been on uh why are you laughing three or four times now and it's always a blast and i love the show myself mike morris comes over from the shuley network the mm-hmm. bs show uncle rico where else can we support you and find you mike oh i'm on uh, instagram insta mike morris on uh, x on mike morris says and uh yeah thanks man this is great thank you for stopping by and not being so silent Oh, I, I do talk occasionally, especially if, if you have the sound on, unlike, you know, John does. Yeah, it helps for sure. And Vinny Paulino, I know this wasn't an easy panel for you to join, so I appreciate you coming over and showing your face. It's fine. Um, thank you for having me. Uh, Phil, take care. Good luck in all of your endeavors. Godspeed to you. Blind Mike. You're supposed to be plugging things. Yeah, I know. Blind Mike, you're great. I'm walking out of here in two seconds. (laughs) Bye, Mike. Uh, The Creep Off, you could watch it every Monday on YouTube on the WATP channel and the Creep Off channel. If you don't mind, give uh, the Creep Off channel subscribe. We've been uh, putting old clips from old shows that you may not have seen into the uh, the feed every day. So there's a new What's old is new again. Exactly right. And then also, we're having a good time with that bonus content, aren't we, Carl? Yeah, we are having a very good time. We have a Hall of Fame episode coming up. Ezra Miller is being inducted into the Ooh. Creep Off Hall of Fame mm. next Friday. Next Friday, so we're breaking down the and, career of Ezra Miller. And if you want to watch the most delusional person you've ever seen in your life get busted for being a pedo, uh, tune into today's episode <laughs> on uh, the Creep Off Patreon. That was a lot of fun. Yes, for sure. And of course, subreddit surfing with uh, Cardiff Electric Monday night at eight o'clock. And I will call my shot now. The subreddit we are covering this week: R slash exorcisms. All right. Ooh. Always a fun subreddit to dive into on subreddit surfing. Oh, these people are bonkers. Mondays at 8 p.m. on the subreddit surfing YouTube channel. All right. If anyone needs to go, they can go. I'm going to read through um, more of these super chats. Thanks for having me, boys. I like doing this. This is fun. Thank you, guys. See you, Mike. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this. DJQ, $10. We all hope SJ's show ends like Dimebag Daryl's last show. Well, I mean, that would end with a bang, no doubt, but we're not hoping for that. Nasty L coming in. I love Nasty L. Here comes the money. Here we go. Thanks for the super chat. Nasty L has been helping to pay for Carl's dentist appointments for some time now. Nasty L for $50 says, Vinny, when you inevitably get invited to sleep at SJ's place, take pictures. 
over under 310 happening is New Year's Eve. Thoughts? I don't know how to handicap Over under it. on 310 happening. I don't know what is New Year's I Eve. I think like means. we would know by New Year's Eve. I don't know. Like, okay. By New Year's Eve. It's going to happen. Are we trying to handicap it that way? I don't know. If John survives, it'll happen. He'll be there. Want to. I wonder if he would. Survive? No, I'm looking at this next one. I'm sorry. Oh, want to do $5. How much to get Vinny and John to Watchdog WATP Artie and Anthony episode? Oh, watch along. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said Watchdog. To do a watch along on our episode where we look at uh, Artie and Anthony when they had John on. That was an uncomfortable afternoon. It was fun. I think that was one of the very first ever video versions of WATP. Yeah, we did it in my studio. Yes, and it was it worked out very well. You can find that on the um, YouTube channel, WATP YouTube channel. Chris Brown, ten dollars. I can understand if John did something to Phil for him to write that letter, but to stick up for Shuli is pathetic. Vinny, keep dunking on this attention-seeking weirdo. It's Chris Brown, the guy who Hurtful. punches girls in the face. <laughs> not a fan of Phil. Maybe it's a different Chris Brown. I guess that's a probably different pretty guy. common name. It's a common name. It's a common name. Yeah. Tony Brand Muffins, two dollars. Thank you, Tony Brand Muffins. Much appreciated. Red four seven three five bucks. I don't know what is gay or Phil trying to get John canceled or Vinny actually being genuine about trying to do something nice for John. Uh, all I could say is Ouch. that's the gayest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> yeah, hey guys, that's, that's a tough one. Guys, again, the reality is. If you the the real reality of this is, is real reality. There's no I have no skin in this game really. Like it's not. Oh, if you have all cancels, the skin in this game. Are you if kidding he cancels, me? then he cancels. You have then... a lot of skin in this game. Don't okay. be delusional about that. Uh, maybe I look am. at where we are right now, Vinny. This is clearly why Vinny's so detached about this when discussing the issue. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, was I say. am though because like what if John you doesn't do you it? You could have texted John back. Fuck off weeks ago. <laughs> but there was no reason to. When I was upset. I told him what the issue was, and he apologized, and we moved on. Fair enough. Good point. Beavis Lee Ray, $2. John is the most brilliant retard of all time. I agree with that. There is something brilliant about his retardation. Is that a backhanded compliment? <laughs> nope. It's just a slam. Lynn from Lancaster, another $2. Why don't you let John know you never chatted as Carla? <laughs> I've told him that. I told him that he's like, well, I call you Carla because I used to use that name in my chat. No, I did not. I, I have exactly three YouTube accounts that I use. Who are these podcasts? The Isotopes and my real name. That's okay. it. Uh, may I please read and respond to this next one? Georgia Peach, $5. Go ahead. Uh, he literally contacted sponsors and Patreon, but you're aggressive with Phil over a letter and you let SJ talk to you like crap FVP. Good point. Okay. Well, uh, the difference being here is very simple. I have nothing to do with Shuli's Patreon stuff. And John, don't strike people's shit. Nobody strike anybody's anything. That's where I stand. I explain that to John. I explain that to everybody. I am not for striking people. I am not for canceling anybody just because you don't like them or you don't agree with them personally. That's bullshit. So if you want to call me a hypocrite for not screaming because John did that, I've denounced it a million times. It's All the right. same thing with like Carl when John screams, "What say you?" I mean, what do you want me to do? Yeah. All right, you've, you've made your point on that. We we don't have to keep rehashing it. I think Uncle that's Jack, fair enough. Yeah, Uncle Jack five bucks says, "Chad on MLC today do thirty eight people thirty eight racket in the dough, huh? KB, there's no way that's true. Chad was on no, MLC again today. Is it possible he has thirty eight probation officers? <laughs> 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 well, I know that he gets more viewers than. 38 and i didn't realize they, Chad was they formed a human chain to try and keep him in line <laughs> the tom gully show another five dollars waiting for phil to go on a 15 minute diatribe about the invention of the pocket comb well you'll be waiting i'm not sure i understand that reference i won't let that happen on my show sir uh reels is that what we said reels 20 bucks i've been working damn it what did i miss you missed a fireworks baby we had a fireworks fucking factory going on. Carl and on I, channel. we made we made pictures and we colored and we told funny, scary stories. Dingus McFirefarts, five bucks. In John's defense, his brain is very wet. <laughs> yes, agreed. Our Chester, five bucks. Vinny's body language when Phil speaks is more obvious than a John Booger or magic bullet glass of OJ. I don't well, know. he wears his heart on his sleeve. <laughs> yes, he does. 
Anthony Torito, five bucks, says, I'll be in the building for the SJ show. I can't wait to create the new drop. Stutter you, etc. Go Bills, SJ stinks like Yakozuna's singlet. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> <F-L>. That's bad. <laughs> that's not great. All right, cool. Anthony will be there. Anthony from Buffalo. It'll Go be, Bills. It'll be nice to meet you, Anthony. Yeah, B Dabbler says Tuki has the cow bikini. I thought it was B Dabbler who took the cow bikini. I was right about that. Someone's calling me right now. Probably my wife saying, are you uh, still obsessed with John? Are you Andy. down in the basement still being obsessed with John, <laughs> Truck Carl? Andy's calling me. Watermelon harvesting, 10 bucks. How could you guys miss the John curse? Bob Melendez is now is how John got to Trump and look at him now. I thought about that the other day. Bob Melendez might be causing his own problems in life. I don't think it has anything to do with John, if I'm being honest. It's, John, it's Bob Menendez, John Melendez. Ah, it's too much. Farfic Nugan, five bucks. Phil, please stop using the AI art generator that gives everyone freckles and makes you and everyone else look more hideous than usual. Talking about your it's a, thumbnail. It's a it's a cartoon filter in Photoshop, actually. Okay. I was gonna say, because you've been creating those for a long time before the AI art generators. Although people would argue that Photoshop does have a lot of AI elements built into it, whatever AI means these days. Hot body, maybe th- 13 32 bucks. John will back me up on this. Do you hear yourself? I'm sorry, what? John will back me up on this. Did you say that, Vinny? Maybe. Oof. Maybe about when uh, I said that, when John asked me, and what do you get out of this for, for helping me? And I said, just my paycheck. We're almost getting caught up. Broccoli, five bucks. Now I think Phil has contacted LAUSD to get John fired. What say you, panel? Well, to do well, that, I first had to Jay trick did. him into... I had to trick him into threatening to pistol whip people to death and uh, <laughs> assault people on the street. After that, it was easy. Right. Yeah. That, that's the thing about Chad used to do this. John has done this before where it's like, as soon as they find out who your employer is, I'm going to get that person fired. Oh, now I know who, who you work for. I'm going to get you fired. It's like, well, that's not how this works. What did I do? That's a fireable offense. That's, that's the hilarious part about all of this is that you can't just reach out to an employer and say, Carl's on the internet. Uh, he has his own YouTube channel. Okay. That's not against any policy we have here at this company. Yeah. You have to do something that would be like, well, we can't have that person working here. Yep. That's the difference. Correct. Heck ride. $2. Meet zombie such only on blind Mike project coming soon. Oh, sweet. Heck ride's got some plans. He does good work. Purple back in the house. Purple monkey dishwasher. 20 bucks. So hyped that you settled on Tampa for the next live show. Any idea if it's on a weekend? Or the comedy club. We were thinking like a Tuesday night. It's definitely on a fucking weekend, Purple. I'm not doing it Wednesday in Tampa. I, I, I heard it was Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. It won't be at a comedy club. The we're, meet and greet starts at 1. We're looking at theaters. And it's potentially with the guys from Revenge of the Sis. Rumpled Trench Coat, a Columbo podcast, $5. Had a blast at DabbleCon. More opportunities to goof on Stuttering John, the better. Agreed. Mm. oh purple became a member thank you purple we'll see you in tampa purple is the best egg oh i love purple snapple snapper 55 bucks dabbling john posted photographic proof on twitter of john in jamaica pull it up dabbling john posted photographic proof on twitter do you know about this bill no but i think clay dabbler did that already he already posted proof when john was in jamaica that's hilarious was it uh john with the dreads it was yeah he had a little backdrop and everything (laughs) <laughs> Matt Mall, two bucks. Vinny to SJ. You didn't call me Tony. Oh, you didn't call me Tony. What is that from? I, I assume that is a Sopranos reference, although it's not a well known thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bob's Chicken, two bucks. Someone will call me an idiot for that. Uh, two bucks. What the fuck is with your beaker from Muppets haircut, Carl? <clears throat> Sir, <clears throat> Bob's Chicken, with all due respect. There's a woman who does my hair. She happens to be the lady of the house. How dare you? And by house, he means the cage he keeps her in upstairs. Also, uh, I tell her what to do, so it's my fault. <laughs> so I take forward. I want the beaker, goddammit, Jenny. Six. Oh, here we go. Purple says, I hope there is more cheese. I could eat the live meet and greet while Purple ate no all meat, No the food at the meet and greet this time, buddy. We hear you coming. It was also a thousand fucking degrees. He's talking about in... In Nashville, where no. he ate a ball of cheese like an apple. Oh, that's right. I forgot about 
I was thinking of that, at the uh, roast. When we did the roast. Yeah, when, when we, we actually roasted. The, yeah, the shitty cheese platter. Yeah. Well, uh, but yes, that's right. I forgot he grabbed the entire ball. Of he was cheese. walking. <laughs> that was for everybody. Even, purple. He, like even I have never done that. Oh. <laughs> even even Phil be like, that's that's too that's, a, that's a little over. That's what are you doing? All right. We got through it, everybody. Oh, no. Here comes another one. Fire her from Bob's <laughs> chicken. <laughs> wow. What an episode. Ugh. Listen, guys. This takes a lot out of me, by the way. There's so many better <laughs> things all of us could be doing. Let's go do them. I'm going to go see Dan Soder at the Comedy Club right I'm now. I'm going to go see the new Scorsese movie, and I'm going to see Dan Soder tomorrow. Ooh. And Trucker Andy asked me if I'm going to the Comedy Club, so maybe I'll meet up with Trucker Andy. Phil, great to see you, buddy. Thanks, man. Thank you for ASE Presents $10. I have a car now, so we'll see you at one of the upcoming shows. Yay. Hey, Mint. Good. We haven't seen you since Nashville? Philly. Philly. Of course, Philly. What am I thinking? Ah, her and Riley were hanging out with Dick Her and, and Riley fucking yeah. filmed the whole thing and put it all together for us. It was Our amazing. Our heroes. Our heroes. But then she also fucked up the merch table. But that wasn't her fault. That was Vito's fault. Yeah. Not blaming Mint for that. So that's awesome. I'm glad to hear that, Mint. You're the best. All right. Phil, welcome to the Dabbleverse. Everyone... Some people don't want you here, but I, I welcome you with open arms. Oh, you're uh, I'm not sure I can quite here, fit Phil. through this gate. <laughs> Fortunately, there are so many take, people taking good care of it. So. Yes, correct. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Carl. See ya. Bye, Vinny.